I really did not expect to have the stream today. I don't know whether I'm happy or frustrated. I almost made the mistake of getting on and just starting everything up. But now I have a question I need to ask. I hope someone joined the stream. I'm gonna ask this question. I need to know whether I should stream longer or if I should stream more differently. Day, but I chose to because I found out last second that there's this event. But now the question lies do I do a Yaku story quest today? Or do I wait to do that and just do this event today? That's what I'm asking myself. It's been genuinely bothering me. But it looks like the event started on its own. Okay, it showed up on my screen. Even though it's still saying to do that. Oh yeah, I have that to do. So it's still saying that there's a prerequisite. Which I'm guessing is... This. I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to do it or not. Uh, I really hope someone joins this stream. I need to uh, make this decision. Because I don't know whether I should do a longer stream today. Oh shit, my resin's capped. Ah, that means it was capped way earlier today. Shit balls. That's what sucks about preparing this guy. I didn't know this would happen, so because of that, I'm going to do this first. We're going to do this first. I had a film where it was going to be kept. The Winter Shogun. Hey, I got a pretty good outfit the other day. I think I uploaded it on YouTube for them. And, uh, quite happy with that hydro feather I got, even though I'm looking for an artifact like that for Blizzard Strike. I need to stack crit damage. But, at the same time, I don't know. I think it's cool. I think it's neat. I just wished I could have, uh, prepared for some things in advance. Illusion shattered! Rain cutter! Nice and spicy! Teamwork is true! Eat this! Inazuma shines eternal! Kill! I 
closer. But doesn't matter. Tag. Hold on to that. <sighs> I'll think about refreshing a bunch of times today too because I'm in a good mood today after like everything I did yesterday I feel like I should have a different game but either way uh, I don't know what to do Witness the power Everybody stand your toast Pawn to oblivion that was my fastest run yet. Uh, I guess I'll try that piece. I could. I swear, if I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Do I even want to try that? I have so many good feathers now that I feel like I need a better flower, but do I really need a better flower? I have a 31% crit damage flower. I don't know. I really don't. There is no escape! Ring cutter! Booba! Get them! Go it in! Hey, yeah. Inazuma shines eternal! Ha! <laughs> 35 seconds. I wonder how strong my rider would have been in C2. My C2 round could be insane. Oh. I mean, I could try it, but I don't want another good Geo Goblin. That reminds me, I got a god to one of my other account I never raised. Uh, I'll do that later. Probably number two. I don't know how many times I've gotten a physical DPS god when I just can't get into a roll crit at all. Illusion shattered. Let me leave you. Alone. Boba, get them. Everybody stand. Yes, it's right. Come to oblivion. Ha, ha. Oh. 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 Again? Uh, it's literally only... I mean, it's on the same set. It makes me mad, because I had one that had only crit damage of the subs and it didn't roll well. It didn't give me any crit damage. If it gave me at least two, I would have kept it. This one, it would have to make up for the bet that I don't have. Because... I think I don't have a good one. This is my third one on set. If it could give me two crit rate rules, I'll try it. Right now I have someone using Blizzard Sphere, so before I do anything, let's go over here.
I still feel really iffy today because I don't know what to do. I want to do a Yeto Suzuki quest last week and then something happened while I couldn't do it and I don't know why. And now because I haven't done it, even though I can still start this event, it says I have to do this, which is really frustrating because I can still actually start it. <sighs> At least it lets you just brute force to it, but I don't know if that makes me any happier. Makes me wonder, should I just do a to Strike with tomorrow, or should I do it today? I keep asking myself this in my head, because I didn't expect this event to come out on a Thursday. This, like, completely fucked me over. This was not a good day for this. <laughs> At least for me, it wasn't. I might use those 20. I don't know if the 20, but I'll use those for two resume. Damn, I'm gonna have that done by this before the end of this weekend. Look at that. There's so many events during this event. A lot of them are like small ones. But <sighs> still don't know what to do. I don't know if I should do it first or should I do a Yatsu story quest first. Add as <sighs> I never felt so indistraught. <laughs> I wonder how much it's going to show. Because either way, I just don't want to miss out on this today. Because it's hard for me to ignore something when I play this game by myself. Sometimes if it bothers me too much, then it puts me in a situation where I must make a decision. The last thing I want to do is have to make such a hard thought decision about this. There, even if I went all the way up here, I don't think I'd make it there. <laughs> I'll do it anyway. I wonder if I should the mono method to get over there. Either way, I got to try and, and see if that does anything. I don't understand why I have to get that on. So, I'm gonna say that doesn't do anything. It's still, the dash is still glassed. Shall perish! 
So conflicted because I don't know what the fuck I want to do. It's gonna bug me till I do. I want this here for a specific reason. I feel kind of bad. Shine down. That's gonna hurt in the morning. Ow. Yeah. Let's light it up. Everybody, stand back. I can't believe I'm gonna do this, but you know what? I guess I have no choice. Uh, to make up for me not doing this last week, I guess I have no choice. I was gonna do it last week, but then there was so much content that I had to take a break, so I just decided to not do this week. Because those are the things I wanted to do. So I think what I'm gonna do. Want to taste of my hammer? Teamwork is dream work. Shine down. Huh? Torn to oblivion. The wrong type of Becomes the hunted. Felt a benefit of the three minds. I must say. <laughs> Damn, I feel bad for the police at the fun rules. I don't remember them being that bad. I really don't. I really don't remember it being that bad. Like getting only one at a time. I'm AR 58. Why is it that bad? Like they don't, I don't remember their jobs being that bad either. It feels like as if they changed the quality of life to that, and I don't appreciate that. Ah, I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm going to do the Yato story quest first, and then I'm going to do the new story quest event. Or pretty much the story quest event that pretty much hits everything close to home with the fact that this takes place after the Yato story close. It just makes me feel bad if I just like, yeah. so, something about that just irks me. That's what it is. <sighs> I got it in time, bitch. Are you going for this? 
How did I miss you? Gotta remember, I gotta do my usual route today, too. So I'm wondering if I should do that first or do that after. Actually, it won't matter. Let's go ahead and do the end. Rewards, I'm going to do a few things. I'm going to do the Yato story quest today, and then we'll tackle the event story. Something about it just irks me. Something tells me if I do this, I'm going to miss something. Not just the best experience like the game tells me, but the fact that I will miss out on maybe key details that may have happened Next the time the agenda. because they got to huh. this event. But why is this here? Why is this here now? Why can't they just postpone this huh? one more week? Why can't they do it properly? What I'm talking about, I know some people probably won't care because they just want to go to do something Genshin. But my take on this is that this is too early. I don't know why they put like some of the biggest events during the first half of the patch and then the second half is just dry out of nothing to do. It would have been nice to have this event during the second half but then they decided to not do it properly. I don't understand. All I can say is that it irks me like a lot. Ow. I keep forgetting I switch it back after some time passes. Is there anything else I did off stream? Other than the feather that I got. There was something else I got that I want to uh, show up. But... Born of ice and frost. Lost. I can't believe I'm doing this, but I think I'm going to do the uh, story quest first. It irks me because I can't make a special stream for that. Because I don't want to ignore this today. Because it's going to get in the way, that's why. I don't usually do this, but... It's so nice to de-stress. What time is it? That's pretty early into the night, so I can't really complain, can I? Alright, so now I did the last thing that gives me, like, experience towards the battle pass. I can't see what that is, but... I think it gives me, like, 2,000, doesn't it? I think each one end does, like, the events. For rewards on the battle pass. It's probably gonna be the quickest patch of maxing out the battle pass, isn't it? I think it will be. I don't think it fits in with the but it still doesn't count towards the weekly XP limit, so I like that. <laughs> Alright, one acquaint, one intertwined. Not this. Maybe that. Most likely that. <laughs> Most likely that, because I know I'll crown Zhang Li as well, as I use him all the time. There is 
this, that I do need more of. But I'm gonna farm the domain anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna just wait till cows is confirmed before I go further into it. So whatever else I just put into that and then I guess I'll wait once again for that when I get there. I don't know how that's still counted, but you know what? I'll take it. I will take that. <sighs> I'm so upset because I have to make this decision. I didn't want to have to do this today. But as much as I like to do one story quest today and then push the other one for tomorrow, I'm doing both well today. There's stuff I want to do in the weekend, so I guess, I guess we're doing more than one thing today. I hope. Hope you guys are ready for a longer stream than usual. I don't know how long this stream will be. But... As you and Paimon pass, Gura textile and kimonos, you bump into two rather familiar people. No commotion will be tolerated. So before we go over there, I'm gonna do five more domains. Knock out five, see if I can get a good blizzard straight piece. The fact that it's giving me another chance at a cryo on scent means one thing, either it gives me enough crew rate that I can just, you know, push away from something else and have a really good off piece for a certain somebody that could actually help me out a lot if I can get that cryo piece to work. I to the wrong place. Alright. Okay. Add as because of Thank this, you I'm for probably going to stream something tomorrow, but then this week I'm pushing back Judgment's playthrough because I'm not going to upload my end of day all the time I'm not doing that. That was stressing me out. Oh. Wait, that finished today? For fuck's sake. No, I'll come back to you. I'm doing this first. I don't want to ignore this over here. Let's do these first. Then I'll go to Super Tico. The first time I have pre-requested quests just like slap me in the face like, Oh hey, you got this other quest that you probably should do. <laughs> I don't wanna, but something tells me if I don't, it's gonna bother me. <sighs> Even though this, the main thing of this stream is gonna be one thing. It's gonna be a stream today. Sorry, Ayato. I can't have your own stream, I guess. As much as I would like to do that today, I cannot. <laughs> this was a bad timing for release dates today. I don't know why they even released dates. It really should not have come out this way. It should have like started doing the second half or some shit. Illusion shattered! Witness the power of the right hand into the bucket! Everybody stand back! Eat this! There is no escape! Inazuma shines eternal! Time to act! How much time is left? Wait for a second half, actually. Twelve days? There's still like two more weeks, or a little under two more weeks now. So, I'm gonna do two weeks. So, I haven't even hit the last half. If I still get my claim freeze, I still don't know how to do it. I'm gonna wait till the. Sumeru, before I make a decision on that. Which. Is that really worth my while doing?
Sands, I don't know how much I can stress that enough, please. I don't care which set it is, I want an attack sand from both perfectly damage. I wanna at least give it a shot for fuck's sake. I've never had one drop. Attack sand from both. Illusion shattered! Witness the power! So I don't have to deal with that. having an off piece. The only way I can alleviate the off piece problem is to have a cryo damage bonus job on the set. That's gonna have to make up for it. Okay. Shine down! Ring cutter! Teamwork is trick! Torn to oblivion! Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. If that attack, I would have actually wanted to roll for it, but it doesn't make me want to any less. I already have the deal done. Oh well. There is no escape! Witness the power! I'm going in! It's actually mid roll, crit damage, mid roll, crit rates. I actually have a good feeling with the artifact, but you know, you never know. That's all I gotta say to that. You know, you never know. Okay, so I have a decent amount of stuff I want to roll, so for once I can actually try to roll things.
I want one on set. This is like my third one. Not that defense one. HP. Hmm. Close to a thousand again. I've been like troubling myself to figure out what to do. I decided to optimize my fish on, but then their upstream has a good set going. So now it's like a matter of time until I eventually at the point where I just start using it to see what happens. Usually the reason why I end up having so many artifacts is literally because I don't end up with anything to roll and then I hoard. And it just ends up in this endless cycle because it looks like I'm going to end up with more to hoard again. By the time where I didn't get any artifacts I could roll for like a whole week straight which is actually kind of bad. I have the lava walker pieces, but I don't want to roll it. But I'm wondering if I should just do it out of spite, just because. The thing that sucks is that every time I want to look at this ratio, I've learned that you need at least, at least 30. At least 30 crit rate. It makes it easier to do crit damage at that point. So that's why I was hoping that that goblin would give me crit rate. So that I could switch my freaking feather. Because otherwise, I'm in this situation again. For some reason, I don't want to get rid of it though. I wish I could have gotten just, uh, even just one crit rate would, would have been better than none. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna level this to max. Cause I'm like actually that bothered by not getting it. Now that I got one crit rate roll on it, I can kind of use it. Because that puts my crit rate line up that I could. I can do that. Because now I'm 
close to 30%. Now, we could get douche and do this for no apparent reason. Which actually isn't that bad, actually. Wish I could get that piece, but I cannot. is where I'm going to go with. That's between this one and then the other piece. Somebody with crowd gives 20% crit rate. So that's pretty good. they're frozen it gives you even 20% more which means I can have from 58 to 78 for this but with this it will give me 49 then 69 they're frozen but 49 majority of the time because of that I think it would be better to just go for this option I have a proper position set that I can run at the very least. This would be even better. It's practically perfect for the position set bonus. So I'd say I can actually finally use this if I want to. Speaking of which, I'm going to heal up with real quick. I'm looking forward to this. I mean, I wouldn't really use Shonli with uh, Freeze Team. I would use Kaya and Rosaria together with Shincho and maybe Mona. So I took two Crowd, two Hydro. I like doing that, or I could just do the Swirl, but I actually need Kazu if I do this team because I, there's something I want to try, actually. That's why. Ah, it sucks that the next character I'm going to go for is between Kazuma and Ito. That's all I can go for. So, kind of blows, but, yeah. If Ito ends up de being next patch, I don't know what I'm going to do. Stabilize! Teamwork is to... Rain cutter! This moment will be frozen in time. Uh, ah, cool it. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> god damn. What? He got that much damage with that? 24,000? Holy shit. Alright. Time to try test subject number two. I'll test out this weapon instead. I see if this does comparative damage. Just curious. What's the hurry? Dodge this. Ten thousand on a base, though. On a base, <laughs> crit. Holy shit! Actually, before I swap over, I actually carry okay, a numbers gun. All right, test subject number two. Thank <laughs> you. 
solidify. Everybody stand back. Witness the power to get frostbite. Ah, freeze. Ah. with this instead of 24,000 with Miss I guess it makes sense since Miss Butter has the boss and the crit rate as well. Gather. I love to see how strong his melt damage would be. I know this one's gonna be much lower, but I need to know. How strong would this be? How strong would this be? Because it's probably gonna be the weapon I just have on him, unless I can summon a Mistwitter banner, and by some chance of a miracle, I get that weapon again. I expected it to be like 15,000 when I do a crit when they're frozen with his elemental skill, which is kind of unfortunate, but test subject number three. Not bad or anything. I'm just happy I actually got the crit, though, because that was going to bother me. Yeah, when I first started, I still think that to this day, I hate Kaya's auto attacks. I just can't stand it. The only part of his attack chain that looks cool is when he just goes right behind you. But other than that. Stabilize! I'm going in! Ring cutter! Oh, so sorry. Oh, 16,000 right higher than Dodge this! That was actually higher than I thought. Cool it! Okay. Uh, that was definitely useful. Also, why does the stream keep duplicating? I wish I would stop doing that. Gather! Dodge this! See how much damage Kaya would melt with Mist Blitter on, but... It's probably gonna be the weapon I use on it. I'm just gonna have to max it out. Let's finish this swiftly. As a side note, let's go ahead and show this one. I changed my mind In the past, I thought Two Piece Heart of Death did not change her the amount of Hydro Damage Bonus because it seems like she ascended with uh, Energy Recharge, but it looks like it doesn't matter. I love how strong her build is. Her build is actually insane. I can't even believe that changing out. Two Heart of Death pieces, I guess even the third one gave me the crit rate, of course, but I'm probably going to give that to someone else in the future, so they have a four-piece Heart of Death, if I can get that Hydro character I want. No offense to a Yato or anything, I just, I find Child's playstyle more unique, because at least he's not a one-trick pony, in an overbearing amount of team counts he can do. I want to because he's the only placed on this game left other than Ito and Shenha that actually makes the game unique to me. I got the 
these two. This shit is actually stupid mess. Then I got that. And I decided to put this on, even though I don't need to. I could put this on. But I just want the extra crit rate. Rather than just adding crit damage, I could literally just stack crit damage. My crit is still pretty high. But I decided to put this on because I like it. It gives me attack. Which I never have one of attack this high, especially with this weapon in mind. I decided to level it to 80. And, uh. Could have farmed that domain today, but who cares? It's funny that her ratio is this high with this on. That's fucking insane. That right there is fucking insane. Even though the proc of this is not the greatest, this weapon is still gonna make her hit harder. Would be cool to stack attack, which would be better with this build, to be fair. The stack attack. I can stack attack and then give her more energy recharge. Using her elemental skill and her burst. I might still try this weapon in the future if I get more of an urge for it, but I like using facing Mona, so I always use that. And the ratio is fucking insane to me. Like, I think I perfected Mona at this point. The only thing left of the two guys just to stack it again. And then, with this Hydro Goblet on, this is the ratio. That to me still just blows my mind how strong Mona is. <sighs> I still don't know if I want to do that though. There's a reason why I say that. Because of uh, genius. I tried something. It's mostly because of this. Hmm. This artifact's screwing me over. It's giving me too much crit, right? <laughs> Could make my Mona more OP, though, if I wanted to. Bring her attack to a respectable level with a force to her weapon. It's still tempting, but it's not like it's that much of a DPS increase. So yeah, I want to show that off. <sighs> now I guess I'm doing this. First, let's go over here. Grab this. Yes, I'll check the other things as well. I'm doing a Yato story quest. So I hope that even though no one is here now, I wonder what people think later on. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Okay.
what? This is almost maxed? How? You know? This realm is... This is gonna be maxed before tonight then. Guess I don't see a reason why it's changed. How I do it then. Feels weird doing this on a Thursday. I don't usually. I try not to stream too much throughout the week, but I guess I have no choice. Okay. One last thing I'm gonna do. I guess I'm gonna go through the chasm real quick. Exploration progress is 88 now. What? I'm guessing build the mines that said it was 90 or 100. Yeah. Okay. The underground chasm is that. I wonder what else I'm missing on the surface. There must be a bunch of chests I'm still missing. Shattered. Teamwork is strength. Let me weave you a Boba, get them. No, my sword. over it but so be it how long have we been streaming for because we haven't started the event yet where am i at guys this okay so it's been about an hour now It seriously takes a loading screen. I didn't think it would actually load. I just want the uh, crystal floor. Nice and spicy. Huh? Oh. I'm going in. Inazuma shines eternal. Time I have her all at max stacks, I'm gonna go for the three, the three man one. I wish I could kill them all. It's not that easy. I end up always not critting one of them when I do that, but I hope I can get it this time around. Witness the power of 
Really, just get hit by that. I cannot believe I just got hit by that. I'm actually so upset. What the fuck? How did I get hit by that? <sighs> okay. I just have to have. Yeah, I'm going over here first. Adventure time. Rain outlines your fate. Everybody stand back. Torn to oblivion. There is no escape. And shut everybody stand now you shall perish I understand why these shrooms take damage. They literally look like they're made of water. There is no escape. I don't think it damage to them, but it does, which confuses me. I don't know if the stars are going to be important. I'm just going to keep hoarding them. So we're going to fight all the shrooms again today, and then finish up the last black serpents I need to find.
then we can start the Yato story quest. Which I've heard a lot of rumors. <laughs> Wasn't that great? I kept complaining about it apparently. I didn't hear one really good review about it. All of them are either like, it didn't feel like a story quest. That was like one of the ones I've heard the most. Yeah. Illusion shattered! I'm going in. Inazuma shines eternal. Go Turn back around and go fight the, uh, the black serpent. I think I got all the shroomites in the area now. I just need to grab these uh, little shrooms on the ground. Star shrooms. They look like they came straight out of Kirby's. your face. No, my sword. Shine down! Everybody stand! Torn to oblivion! Gotten everything except for this last one. That uh, I gotta go more shrooms this way. Then we can get the 
this started. I just remembered again, there was a chest somebody found. I might actually check that real quick. When I uh, get out of the cave. Illusion shattered! Kind of conflicted right now. I guess I've already made a decision. This uh, event, I haven't started yet, so you're still here in time. Everything considered, I decided I had to make a decision because this event that came out today came out way too soon. And thanks to it coming out way too soon. There's a prerequisite quest I need to do in order to start this event. But it says I can start it and I tried my other account, it works. That I need to, uh, I can just pretty much brute force and I can just start it whenever I feel like. But they say the best experience, I need this or that. And it seems to me that it's gonna bother me if I don't do the quest I need to do before this. And that's the Yatsu story quest. So, thinking about going for a longer stream today and doing that story quest first, and then doing the story quest of them. For the event that started. I wish it didn't start so damn early though. I'm still confused why they started this soon. This is like beginning of the path. 
patch still. There's only the second week. And we're halfway through the second week. And we still have another whole week after this before the second half starts. Uh -huh. Teamwork is dreamwork! Let me leave you a part. Inazuma shines eternal! Seriously, do not click on those ones. This one is the only one that makes me feel like this one, I swear to God. Alright. How many of these do I have now? Yeah, we're looking kind of solid on these. I'm gonna keep farming until the end of the patch, though, I think. Like, for this routine I do every day. <sighs> yeah, homie, I don't know if you watched that stream I did yesterday, but I still don't know how to feel about it. The way that the game designed since it's six years of its release is the Bleach Brave Souls game. The fact that I just figured out after the stream that you can do missions with out a burner, but I can't permanently turn it off. I literally would have to manually do every mission. Kind of irks me. But it doesn't even matter if I play it normally or not. It's still gonna be an iffy experience since I can brute force the story. And because of that, I made the decision of today's stream more or less in tune with that game that I'm gonna have to do. I think I'm going to play that game tomorrow. Since I start to get on it later today, but I don't know when I'm gonna do that actually. Either way, we're about to start this uh, Ayata story quest now, which I've heard so many rumors about that it's really iffy. Like a lot of people were upset that they didn't get to see him as much, so I'm a little bit worried about this. They wouldn't ruin another character's good story somehow. I am a little bit worried about that. The last thing I want is another story to just be iffy. But either way, see how this goes? Because I'm certain this story quest is gonna lead up to the borders of Inazuma being released thanks to right now, Shogun's quest and whatnot. So, that's why I feel like I have to do this one first. Something about it irks me because if I start the event, with all the Mostak characters appearing in Inazuma before I do this. Something about it bothers me. I'm gonna do this first. Funny enough, I think I've only done two re Did I just, yeah, I only done two refreshes today. I'm tempted to do another one. But there's like no reason to. But I could. If I wanted to. How is... Oh yeah, I forgot, I forgot to get the free 100 premiums for this. Doing a rollback fixing Yoni Miko, or do a rollback you can fix if they do it to Yoni Miko that didn't fix it, made her worse. Which is fucking hilarious. But yeah. Alright. Let's get started. It says it's probably a familiar face here, but... Are two familiar faces? I guess it's these two over here. Hmm? Those two look familiar. Oh yeah, they definitely do. It's not like every NPC has the same fucking face Paimon. Ah! It's Ipe and Shinojo! Uh... Who were they again? What? is Shinojo. Back when we first arrived in Inazuma, we escorted Hiragi Chisato out of Rito with him. Remember? That's how we got out. How the Next fuck is your memory is that Ipe, good, though? I don't remember that shit. Servant. That day when we hung out with A, he came and told us that Kujo Kamiji had gone missing. He was really worried. The day we hung out with her? 
Damn, I can't remember shit from her hangout. Like, there's this, is that was her first story quest was? Was it during that time? Before the whole scandal toward the end of it, where then Raiden had to do something for the Tri Commission because of Kujo Kamichi, right? Him specifically? I just remember it was a guy with glasses that ended up taking the seat instead of the old man that wanted to do something. I don't remember what the fuck happened in that quest, to be honest. <laughs> I'm part of Paimon's job as your guide. If your brain is this good, why is your vocabulary not as good? Anyway, let's go say hi! Okay. Hi, Ife. Hi, Shinojo! What are you guys doing here? Oh, it's you. Thanks so much for your help last time. I was just ordering some clothes when I ran into him. Hey, you both of the same. You know fish. these two as well? Yes, they helped me and Master Kamiji out a great deal last time. I've never had the chance to say thank you properly. What about you? It's more like, even though I feel like you're thanking me, I feel like you're thanking the wrong person. I feel like with that one that that was mostly if I'm not mistaken that was a that did this not really the traveler Traveler was just kind of there also I know we did something for uh, our lady had them join us as additional guards almost. for a goods escort in order to sneak out of Rito undetected oh so yeah okay so was he one of the two officers that literally just said you know what we're just gonna let her just walk on by and they let us get out of Rito Uh, not exactly. We've only just met. We both came here to order some clothes and got to chatting. Somehow we ended up on the topic of Master Kamaji and Lady Haragi's relationship. Wait, it's okay to talk about that, right? Uh... <sighs> it's probably fine. They've known about it for a long time already. Oh, yeah! Paima remembers those two had a thing. In fact, that was why Chisato wanted us to deliver a letter. Are you talking about that world quest? You think I'm gonna remember that shit? <laughs> At that point, you might as well have made that a story quest, because I didn't pay attention to that. I literally just knew I had to deliver a letter to her betrothed. Her betrothed. And then that was it. That's old news, though. So, why has it come up now? <gasps> Are they taking the next step or something? So if it's these two, to suspect together, they'll be getting married soon. So I guess it's those two. Huh? Wow, that's great! They can finally make it official. Of course, this is just personal speculation. They haven't announced anything, and we wouldn't dare to ask. I was instructed to place an order for some formal wear for a big banquet. Turns out that Ipe received the exact same instructions as I did. They're both preparing for a banquet at the same time. They're both purchasing the kind of fine wine and confectionery normally reserved for big festivals. It's hard not to put two and two together. Uh, Lady Hiragi has been in high spirits recently, and I heard she's on a diet as well. Surely it's all for the wedding. This is wonderful news! But, um... What's wrong? Oh, don't mind me. She's about to be happily married oh. to the love of her life. I genuinely couldn't be happier for her. Oh, is it that guy? No, this is that guy? Is it that guy? Oh, are you that guy, that guy? You're that guy, that guy. You're that guy that was in love with her. And then... When he found out that she was in love with somebody else, this was that guy that was super depressed when he walked off. Okay, so it's that guy, that guy. Right? I think so too. It's fantastic. Yes, but we shouldn't let ourselves get overexcited. What if it's all a big misunderstanding? As things stand, we have no actual proof of a wedding. Now, if they sent me out to deliver wedding invitations, that would be a different story. <laughs> Shinoju doesn't look like he's taking this very well at all. Same down. <sighs> Sorry, I just haven't slept well recently. I'm ashamed to be so out of sorts at work. 
I'm not living up to my responsibilities, either to the Kanjo Commission or to my lady. Are you worried about their wedding? Not exactly. It's just everything feels kind of up in the air until they make it official. <sighs> I get what you mean. I really do. Okay, the we need this wedding to be set in stone before the celebrations can really begin. Wait, I don't think he knows what he's talking about either. Unfortunate. What should we do? Should we just straight up ask them? Why? I don't know. That seems a bit rude. Yeah, it does. So, well, since it's a wedding between two commissions, the Astro Commission obviously is a wedding in Sumo. Oh, they're from two different commissions, right? Because Chisato's from. Uh. It's one of the commission. I don't remember which commission, the one in Rito. I just know that we have a different commission out here in the Ozuma City. Right. So I wonder. If Ayaka knows about it, that means it's a sure thing. Oh, well, she probably I, does know about it. I don't think it's a good idea to bother the Yashiro Commission about this. Ah, uh, it's fine. He and Ayaka are practically best buds. There's nothing to worry about. I see. Then thank you. Thank you very much. Having a definite answer will stop my thoughts from running wild. Let's go to the Kamisato estate! As I thought, this is the prerequisite quest. Uh, either way, I'm just excited to see Ayaka again. I like her voice actor a lot. Her voice in English is really good. I actually don't mind it. I just hate her goddamn forehead. No offense to her hairstyle, it's just, you can tell how big her fucking forehead is because of it. Like, there's so many kids in the game that kind of looks like this to an extent, but like, Ayaka has it the worst, like, I can't help it. Like, the memes I saw on it too, makes it so much worse. It's one of the reasons why I don't exactly like her, but I don't like her personality to be this more This place frank. impresses me every time I come here. I don't hate her though. It's so magnificent, but still so elegant. It just is a turnoff for me. We'll just wait here. We don't want to cause any extra trouble for you. Ayaka wouldn't mind. Honestly, even if we did come with you, we wouldn't know what to say or do once we were inside. <laughs> so we'll just leave you to it. Okay, Ben. All right then. We won't be long. Are you sure about that? Watch Ayaka be like, "Yo, yeah, well, come with me." Not to pry, but it seems like there's something on your mind. Do you want to talk about it? It's nothing. I just didn't sleep well, that's all. Really, I'm fine. He's not fine. Shinojo is not fine, dude. He is not fine. Ding dong! Where's Miss Kamisato? Ayaka! <sighs> oh, it's Tomo. Without looking at the board, you've ruined my strategy in one move. Amazing. Hmm. Now, what should I do next? Ayaka, Tomo, it's us! Huh? Oh. <laughs> hey, guys, it's been a while. Hey, if you're man. looking for my lady, I'm afraid she's not here right now. Oh. Oh. Uh, of course. Toma. Ah. Did that happen to be the traveler? Uh, yes. <laughs> really? Greetings, We're traveler. meeting you this way? Ayaka speaks of you constantly. Finally, today is the day. I am head of the Kamisato clan and Yashiro commissioner, Kamisato Ayato. Damn. Greetings, both. I have long been indebted to you on my sister's behalf. Finally, I have the chance to express my profoundest gratitude to you in person. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this real quick. <laughs> I always gotta do this. But wow. I didn't expect to meet Ayato like this. Why, why is Toma facing off to him in some kind of, like, game there? I wonder what that was.
Ayaka is out today. If you are here regarding anything related to the Kamisato clan, you are quite welcome to discuss it with me instead. Oh, I... Uh, hi! Your flattering words flatter us. Um, uh, please excuse the pretty suddenness of our visit, for it is most improper etiquette. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why on earth are you talking like that? Well, exactly. he seems like a pretty powerful person. He's already working his way up Paimon's list of people to never mess with. Really? I never thought she'd say that. Look! As soon as he stands up, the whole atmosphere in the room changes, and it feels like you got to be super polite. <laughs> I see, I see. You shower me with praise undeserved, my little guest. There is no need to be quite so formal. This is a private residence, so please, relax. Oh, good. Because that little spiel was really tiring just now. All right, now that that's over, Paimon's just going to ask the question. Wow. As quick as that, I guess it works so. We heard a rumor that Kujo Kamiji and Hiragi Chisato are going to get married soon. Do you know anything about that? Oh? I wouldn't have thought you'd heard about that yet. As it happens, we've crossed paths with them before. I see. Well, it's true. It wasn't long ago that I received the news myself. The head clans of two commissions are to become joined through marriage. This is big news for the whole of Inazuma. So it's like the other Since two commissions. The Yashiro Commission much. presides over cultural and ceremonial affairs. It closely involves us, too. Okay, okay, okay. So it is the other two commissions of the Tri Commissions. I, I don't remember what the other two were called. I don't. I just don't remember. Okay. Yes. And, since the commissions are kind of the face of the Almighty Shogun to the masses, this wedding is one that we have to treat as a serious affair. Right! Makes sense! Shit got all political in this, goddamn. Ah, two true lovers becoming husband and wife! What a happy occasion! Paimon, you're not helping. I wish it was a happy occasion, but it doesn't feel happy enough. It just feels like everything's getting thrown up in the air. Because... It has politics involved. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I don't know if I would want a marriage like that. It is. High-profile matrimonial links between two commissions are extremely rare. Guess it is These what it is, right? These two truly love each other. Tradition should give way to freedom in this case. Exactly. All right, then. I'll be sure to pay them a visit to send the best wishes of the Kamisato clan. Hmm. No need. I'll visit them personally this time. Really? Huh? But you have other things to be doing. This is a marriage between the Kujo clan and the Hiragi clan. Kujo, the Kamisato right. clan must demonstrate an appropriate level of respect. The work of the Yashiro Commission is indeed multifarious. Normally, weddings and other ceremonies would come under the supervision of my sister. But she is presently occupied with other matters. And I happen to have a little time to spare. This will be a good chance for me to pay a visit to the bride and groom. Oh, and would you two care to join me? Huh. I presume you two have a special connection with the individuals in question, or you would not be quite so interested in this matter. This yeah. being the case, why not come and offer yes, so. your best wishes too? Or is my presumption incorrect? Not as interesting as you make it sound. No special connections here. Super ordinary ones, actually. We just agreed to help deliver a letter this one time, that's all. Uh, although, wait. Does that mean we helped make this wedding happen? I mean, you're just now asking that? Are you freaking kidding me? This was a world quest, man. When we delivered a letter to... Jesus. Oh. Well... I didn't realize the guy's name was Kujo Kamiji. I just couldn't remember, okay? It's like I had to go all the way to Inazuma City to deliver a letter to this guy from Chisato. But I didn't think they'd get married as soon as, like, after that all happened. I guess Kujo Kamiji did like her back. He never said he didn't accept the letter or anything. He just took the letter. And we didn't hear from him after that. We just ended up letting Chisato know that he took the letter. So... 
I'm certain I think he did mention that he did have interest in her. Eh, all right then. But yeah. I cannot thank you enough. But yeah. Your mere presence shall surely mean we are spared the futile pursuit known as small talk. You're joking, right? <laughs> Your appearance just expresses no small talk straight to the point or I'm out. Wait, you're the Yashiro commissioner, but you can't do small talk? Well, he doesn't have the time for it, does he? Small talk is a chore. Of course, there are some people in the world who quite enjoy doing chores. But I am not one of them. You know how sus that sounds? Dude, you say you don't like doing chores, but you are the Yashiro commissioner. Despite how important your job is, I hope you know when you do it day in, day out, it turns into a chore rather than what you love to do. Yeah, I would know. Toma, I'm heading out with my two guests now. I'll leave the residence in your capable hands. Not a problem. Take care, my lord. Hmm. I, f I find that very interesting. He called that a chore. What's wrong? Are you worried about having to be on your best behavior around my lord? <laughs> Don't be nervous. He's actually pretty easy to get along with. Well... The vast majority of the time, at least. Uh, I don't like that. Why did you say vast majority of the time, bro? So this is a chessboard. It looks like the tradition of, like, the ones that had the symbols on them, and it's that type of chess that I did in the Yakuza series. The, uh, the state of the chess game remains unfinished, though Thomas seemed to be at a slight disadvantage. Kamisato Yato did not look at the board the entire time. Can he remember the whole board right down to the last tile? If that were the case, that man's a brainiac of some kind. Since we gotta report to Ikri and everybody, I think it's just first, let's get out of here. Let's see how things are going. Alright, gotta wait for it to load up. Get everything to load. Ah, you're finally... What? You're finally what? Right. Ah, uh, Yashiro Commissioner! Hmm. Who are these two? Do the introduction. Introduce your companion to Yato and update Ife and Shinojo on the situation. So it's true. Well, there we have it. That's it then. So be it. Oh, Great, man. so our hunch was spot bad. on. It is a little inappropriate for me to have shared news of this magnitude with you. So I would be much obliged if you could keep it in strict confidence until an official public announcement is made. But don't worry, sir. We, we give you our word. We won't tell anyone about it. That puts my mind at ease. Now, on the topic. We'd like to pay a visit to the Kujo clan. Would you mind leading the way for us? I wonder if uh, Kujo Sar is with them in the Kujo clan. I'd love to see I her. I guess well. this is where I... Goodbye, then. Oh my gosh, Shinojo, please, please don't cry now. Stop crying. I'll try. Thank you. <laughs> Gosh, dude. I honestly, I feel bad because I feel like no one should ever have to go through something like that. But what can you do? Usually some people can say, just go find someone else. Just so me fishing the sea. Sometimes it's not the same. It's not the same as like falling in love for the first time. 
and then having that taken away from you, it doesn't feel the same after the first time it's gone. Stabilize. I'm much more punning myself when it comes to that, because uh, I would not want that to happen to me either. I'm only gonna pick once. If I can't pick the one person, I'd rather not deal with him. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot the physical clans over there. I think we've run into Kuja Sara. I don't know if we won. I like her voice in English. Oh, see Kuja Kamaji's here. So I'm guessing we're gonna see like both of them individually for this magnitude of an event of some kind. Ah, just as I thought, it is the guy, it is the guy with the glasses, right? Wasn't this also the guy we saw in Raiden Shogun's first story quest? That she did a duel against this guy in a cutscene. I believe this is that same guy. So I was right. Now that I think about it, when I did Chisato's, uh, world quest... I think we found somebody else that we delivered the letter to because we couldn't find Kujo Kamaji. I'm thinking because I don't remember his appearance looking like this when I delivered the letter to somebody. Or I could be completely wrong. I don't freaking remember, but I, I have just such a hunch on that. All right, then. Please excuse me. I'll lead you to it from here. Okay. Thanks, Ipe. Yeah, it is this guy. Yeah. I apologize that your impromptu visit comes at a busy time for us, Commissioner. Otherwise, you can be sure that we would have prepared a more extravagant reception. I don't mean to impose, Sir Cujo. In fact, I'm not here on official business at all. I heard the good news about yourself and Lady Hiragi. What a glorious marital alliance this shall be. Given the close ties between our clans, it seemed only right that I should come and offer the Kamisato clan's congratulations in person. Oh, I'm truly honored. I hope the news didn't come as too much of a surprise. Hey there! We came to congratulate you as well! Well, how have you been after, uh, you becoming the head of the clan, the old man getting kicked out because Raiden Shokan dueled you when no one else would? Since the incident with the Takatsukasa clan, things in yeah, the Tenryo Commission have slowly started Takatsukasa to stabilize. Clan, yes. I'm still acclimating to the position of acting head of the clan. I just hope I'm up to the task. So I can live up to everyone's expectations. You're far too modest. The public thinks very highly of you. They say you're hardworking, upright, and responsible. Uh, I'm flattered, but I wouldn't have achieved anything without the support of my people. Thanks to them, everything is gradually stabilizing. And I finally had the chance to focus a little on my personal life. <laughs> well, you're certainly making big progress in that department. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are they doing this on purpose to make it just sound so quirky? Look, this would be cool if this game wasn't a quote-unquote, as most people call it, a waifu simulator. I just find it conflicting when you can have so many people on a team and when you play as Ether, it's just him and a bunch of women and then some guys on the side. So it's like, you know, I don't know, it just conflicts with my thought process with this. But... I guess I should have known that after hearing, oh, the marriage, yes. So it's all marriage talk. Yes. Smooth operator. <laughs> Come on now. You're embarrassing me. It's kind of weird, but uh, you know what? Pardon whatever. me. I... Um, it's perfectly all right. Please continue. I'm quite content to listen. It's a joyous occasion. Lighthearted is exactly how things should be. Really, who stays stony-faced when talking about a wedding? You're right. But I am curious to know, what's your honest opinion on the whole thing? Do you think it's 
too sudden? <laughs> of course not. Where there is true love, nothing should be allowed to stand in its way. No doubt people huh. will offer you a, a colorful variety of opinions. But of course, you will have factored this into your decision, and I'm sure you are prepared for whatever challenges may lie ahead. Right. Indeed I am. So, please be confident. When your mind is made up, you ought not be worried about things for which you are already well prepared. Nevertheless, there is just one small aspect of this that puzzles me a little. Please, go ahead. You've been working hard to bring the Tenryo Commission in line. This Tenryo is positive, right? and no doubt this the beginning the of an important change. That we see here. Okay. But on the other side of this equation, Lady Hiragi's father, Hiragi Shinsuke, is still in prison. Wait, what? Oh, her father. Wait, then who would the head of the guy in Rito then? Who would that guy again? That Hiragi is... Would that something different? I don't... You know what? We'll if you choose out. now, of all moments, to announce a marriage between the Hiragi and Kujo clans, the kinds of rumors that may begin to spread both among the general public and in the Kanjo Commission are not likely to be in either of your best interests. Oh, and the Kanjo Commission with the third one, right? So Kanjo, Yashiro, and Tenryo Commission. Okay, so those were the three. So do you think... I think Kanjo Commission was the one in Rito. Tenryo is the one that's in Inazuma City. And then the one outside of Inazuma City at the Kamisato clan with the Yashiro Commission. Yeah. Okay. Couldn't have put it better myself, Sir Kamisato. This has been my biggest concern for quite a while now. Hiragi Shinsuke is firmly against me having any contact at all with Chisato. In the past, we've always had to communicate in secret by sending letters. Yeah, I remember that. And then one time the man got so busy I had to send it to him somehow. I don't... I don't remember so how, although but now I think it like wasn't me meeting for, for the first marriage, time then, though. It may well be the only opportunity we have. Wait. To make as much trouble for us as possible. Oh, he is the worst. So that isn't her father, thank God. Okay, that was the guy I was talking about in Rito. That was the fucker that wanted us to, like, do a hundred bajillion things. That was before we met Toma, right? I think it would be just before we met Toma when we first went to Inazuma. I hated that guy. I can see where you're coming from. But you're only postponing the problem, not solving it. You will still have to face it sooner or later. Yeah. <sighs> yes, I'm well aware of that. But since Chisato had the courage to ask me to marry her in spite of everything, how can I disappoint her? If she proposed to you, that's a whole different situation. I thought it was him that did it. If it's her, yeah, it doesn't matter what that guy says. You'd have, like, he would have to do something, like, with her to make her change her mind or something. He can't do anything. Well, sort of. She raised the idea in a letter, and after some initial hesitation, I went to meet her and have a serious conversation about our future. It's funny, actually, because when I formally proposed to her in person, she denied having ever written that letter. Ugh, so coy. Bruh. What? Really? Okay. Okay. Nah, something's wrong there. Uh-uh. The way she was in the beginning when she had voice lines in the story... Before we left Rito, I remember she adamantly actually loved this guy. She literally turned... To, well, I mean, I guess... She knows you. I, I, I don't know what to say about that guy, but... It is what it is. Maybe she, she didn't, didn't want say. anyone to hear? She just acted confused by the whole thing. She really committed to it. I'll never forget the look on her face. Well then, why is she saying she wants to marry you now, compared to what she did to you before? I'd have to ask her... Why? Oh. Is she doing it to cover anyway, up something? As her boyfriend, I knew she was just pretending. So I played along and said, Ah, I was only joking about the letter. And then I proposed. After making some disgruntled noises about me making a stupid joke, she blushed and said yes. We spent that afternoon working through all the details of the wedding. Okay. Jesus. So you discussed it and decided on a date? We did. I guess... It was a chance to finally express our commitment to one another, clearly and completely. I respect that. You know that. what? I think it was about time. 
Okay, is there a reason why there's a shine behind your head? Oh, what is that? Dude, is there even enough light in here? I mean, if we count those things there as windows, my eyes are blinding. No matter what happens next, I will always be there for her as the one person she can always rely on. Oh, give me a break. Paimon, really? You're the person that made me say smooth operator. Come on now. Sorry, but Paimon's been wanting to say this the whole time. Is it just this dude or does everyone in love act like this? He just won't stop talking. What? Nothing can stop him from sharing his love story. Bruh. You know what? Whatever. Uh, apologies, my friends. And also to Sir Kamisato. I must sound like a fool. Well, no one can ever f understand it. I mean, if Paimon doesn't understand it, it is what it is. Being in love is a wonderful feeling when you're able to commit to it, right? Far from it. On the contrary, seeing you so positively smitten puts my mind at rest. No surer evidence could there be of your true feelings and your commitment. If I had any reservations before, I certainly don't now. I wish you a joyous wedding when the day comes. Yeah, even if it's kind of irritating to see you all smug like this, Paimon, it's still a happy stop. occasion. Good luck on the day, and have a happy wedding! If she, like, if I was Ether, I would have covered her mouth the moment she said, it's kind of irritating to see you all smug like th I would have covered her mouth right there. That was rude. I'm going to be honest. Thank you all. It means a lot. I'll be honest, that was kind of rude. We have rude. some other business to attend to now. Even if she was still Until saying, next time. Know, happy wishes and whatnot. Very well. I'll see you out. Part ways with Kujo Kamaji, Kamisato Ayato seem to have more to say to you. So as I expected, this is actually kind of a strange story quest. I wonder what the whole end of this actually means, though. Because this is a quest I have to do before the main story quest and question. I need to know how important this quest is. There had to be something said in here that makes sense for what's to come next. He seems busy. That must be true for anyone about to get married, right? It's a happy kind of busy, though. Uh huh. You're right. Kujo Kamaji is on cloud nine. What do you think, Traveler? Seems generally happy, but I'm bothered by the whole thing and how the whole thing began. He chalked it up to her being coy, but that doesn't sound like the Hiragi Chisato I know. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't make any remembrance of what happened with her when we first met her as well. Something about that bothers me. Like, why would she play coy all of a sudden? Is she trying to cover up something? It bothers me also. But, unfortunately, attempting to seek the truth of the matter would likely be fruitless. How so? Yeah, how come? Whenever we come across stuff like this on our adventures, we always find a way to get to the bottom of it. I see. So that's how adventurers think. In my opinion, we face two obstacles in this case. Firstly, we have very little information to go on, and I must be cautious about taking a stance. This makes it difficult to investigate it makes it difficult for you to investigate <laughs> to be fair the traveler could just do what he wants to even if he's a famous head in this area of Inazuma however Ayato I don't think it's a good idea for him to even try this secondly and more importantly the person involved doesn't seem to care if we intervene right. without his blessing Good intentions may lead to catastrophic results. You're right. You do have a point. Kamaji doesn't seem worried at all. He doesn't seem too worried about it. Everything in the world is intertwined. What looks like a simple outcome is often the result of multiple conflating reasons. Seeking the full truth would be a long and laborious process. It would be inefficient. Speaking from experience... Sort of. I have to take this approach, or the work of the Yashiro Commissioner would never be done. My opinion is something like this. 
when something strange happens, instead of trying to find out what could have caused it, it is better to look at the situation itself. If the outcome is positive, and no one was deceived or harmed in the process, then it is acceptable. Are there really no negative consequences to this? We don't know yet. After all, we don't know what Hiragi Chisato's thoughts are, do we? I have to say, I'm impressed by your ability to zero in on the issue from such a short meeting. Most insightful of you. You are thorough and thoughtful, just as my sister describes. Huh? But Chisato and Kamiji have already talked everything through, haven't they? I still want to go talk to her. Only even if, if we are to take bit. Kujo Kamiji at his word. But there are two sides to every story. That's why I want to go see her. I wish to know Hiragi Chisato's angle on this. Uh, makes sense, but Paimon still doesn't quite get it. Alright, you can get your brain juices later and you'll understand. Don't worry about it. I was planning to visit the Hiragi clan to deliver my best wishes anyway. Let's take the opportunity to hear her thoughts. If she's as committed as Kujo Kamaji, perhaps they can navigate the challenges ahead successfully. But if not... Well... Life isn't always a smooth journey. Right. Sometimes it'll be just a long road that hits too far from home. A road filled with rocks, the bumpy type. It's unfortunate. Rito! Rito! Let's -a go! Okay, let's reload the page, see where we're at in the time. Because I'm probably going to end up having like two more hours. Cause I can't wait to start this event. Cause I, I feel like we're getting close to something, right? Well, we'll see. Is the old man still up here by chance? Well, either way, I just want to see Miss Chisato. Oh, holy moly, what is this? There is still much to prepare for the wedding. Oh. Hmm. Should we also invite some prominent business leaders who frequently <laughs> visit Rito? Dude, no offense. You look like Obi-Wan Kenobi on a different sense. What? What is this? What? What is your design? What is your angle? Why do you look like this? Matsura. Wh why do you look like that? Hmm. At the very least, we should send them invitations. I agree. Ah, hello there, Yashiro Commissioner. Hello, uh, people. And what do we owe the honor on this fine day? Oh, God, As you're it pleased. happens, I'm here regarding the same wedding I believe I heard you discussing just now. I come bearing the felicitations of the Kamisato clan. Would Lady Hiragi happen to be available at this moment? Our lady is entertaining guests right now, and we're not entirely sure how long she will be. Tanny, what please, does she do? do come in. We will arrange some tea and snacks for you and your attendants. Hey! Paimon is not an attendant! Bruh. It's like <laughs> you Mona's story quest all over These again. These two are dear friends. <laughs> dear friends, yes. <laughs> You're too kind. Uh -huh. We don't wish to impose. We'll just wander around in the general area. Apologies for the interruption while you're busy with preparations. Please, let us know once Lady Hiragi is available. Nonsense, Commissioner. No imposition at all. This wedding is a joyful occasion, and all the other clans who serve the Hiragi clan are most delighted for them indeed. We're merely doing the best we can to make this wedding as grand an affair as possible. When the time comes, we'll invite everyone in the clan and even the general public to attend. That sounds splendid. We'll leave you to it. Take care, Commissioner! So far, even though so I can't really say I enjoy it, I can't hate it. Hence it why I dislike bridges. small talk. Our timing was not ideal, but never mind. I spotted a stall on our way over where we can pass the time. The uh, owner uh, always manages to come up with novel ideas. <laughs> I'm one of his regular customers. 
It's kind of a shame, I gotta say, though. So far, I don't really hate this quest. But I think I know why people don't like a Yato. That small talk comment can probably trigger a lot of people. Because I'm not saying that the people that like to have people talk and talk and talk. I don't like it either. But I don't mind small talk because at least it gives me something to go with. It just depends on the person, to some extent, I guess. Ah, it's you. Good to see you again. Oh, this seems like you're always guy. showing up with the VIP intel. Oh, Wasn't this guy in so Inazuma you know City. So you the owner as well. I think this guy used to be in Inazuma City, didn't he? Yep, we tried his dongle milk a while back with the Almighty Shogun in Inazuma City. And I see why this was a prerequisite for this quest. If nobody did the Rider Shogun's first story quest. Because I think that was when we met him. He was uh, in the Inazuma City. Ah, I see. So you were involved in that. I'd caught wind of this Dango milk, but I didn't know that it had anything to do with you two. <laughs> it was unexpected. It was a twist of fate. <laughs> I always order one of his creative drinks whenever I pass the stall. The flavor is always new and interesting. When I noticed he'd set up shop in Rito, I simply had to come by. Oh, thanks to you all, my business is finally beginning to take off. More and more people are willing to give my creative cuisine a shot. I remember before people said, this shit is weird. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to drink this. Like, people were just questioning it because it was weird and different. Bruh, you got to try it first. It gave me the confidence to decide that I'm going to stick to creative cuisine from now on. On the one hand, I wanted more people to be able to try out my culinary creations. On the other hand... I wanted my customers to experience the joy of being creative too. So I gave it a lot of thought and finally came up with an all new business concept. Sounds interesting. Oh no. What is it, what is this it gonna time? be called? I've decided to give complete creative control to the customer. I offer all sorts of ingredients and they pick and choose whatever they want to mix with their milk or tea. Oh, so it's like that. As That's well right. as Dango, I now offer rice cake, purple potato balls, black sugar, and sunsetia. They really don't go well. To imagine, but who knows? It could be delicious. What if I were to choose some ingredients you don't have here? Would that be okay? Uh, well, I, I guess so. Any novel ideas you have, Commissioner, please feel free to tell me. I'll go buy the ingredients right away. The whole idea was to let my customers express their creativity freely. So, of course, I shouldn't place restrictions on the ingredients if I can help it. <laughs> Excellent. There are a few things I'd like to try. Lavender melon, seagrass, and sea ganoderma. Uh, what? You want to mix those with milk? It sounds like shaman all over again. Why? What's wrong? Do you really think that's going to turn out tasting good? It's all about the experience. The taste is secondary. It's great to try new things. But isn't sea ganoderma like a mushroom in the water? Traveler, any thoughts? You try it. I don't know. Let's go with Donk. <laughs> Lavender Melon is cool. Seagrass might have some exquisite taste to it. Seagranoderma, you gotta be crazy. I don't know. I think it literally is just a mushroom that grows in the, in the water. So it's like, I don't know how to feel about it. Uh, let's go with Dongo. Yes, Dongo. Dongo will do nicely. <laughs> An ordinary choice, but there's nothing wrong with that. Two dongo milks and one milk with lavender melon, please. Just lavender. Uh, no problem. Melon. Give me a second. I'll have them ready in just a moment. Here, your milk is ready. Give it a try. Dongo milk tastes pretty good once you get used to it. What about yours? A most memorable texture, indeed. A success, I'd say. A well, lavender milk right actually sounds pretty, pretty good. Pretty positive, but Paimon still thinks there are better combinations. Taste is your key concern, yes? Obviously, tasty food and drinks are some of life's most important pursuits. Well said. If I could say the same was true for me, I believe I'd be a very content man. In other words, you have too many other things to worry about. 
Yes. No one has unlimited energy, and I try to conserve mine for the things that really count. To create some mental breathing room, I try not to overthink the less critical matters. That's having good. my sister That's attend public I events in my with. stead, and having Toma as housekeeper has also been a great help, and allowed me to focus. We're just passing the time here though, right? Is there anything else to think about than what we're doing right now? One or two things. Let's continue this discussion somewhere else. I noticed something before we left the Hiragi clan's residence. You saw who Hiragi Chisato was meeting? Is it something else? It has to be that, maybe. No. It was just a small detail. I was curious to know their thoughts on the wedding. So oh, I asked so it is about, about it. those guys. Okay. Naturally, they responded that all other clans are happy for the Hiragi clan. But that's not the truth. What do you mean? Hiragi Shinsuke is still in prison, meaning the Kanjo Commission is the least stable in the Tri Commission. Yep, Kanjo still Kisato sus. Hiragi is the sole remaining pillar of her clan, but now she plans to marry into the Kujo clan. If I belonged to one of the assisting clans to the Hiragis, I would not be feeling optimistic about the future. But they didn't mention a word about that. They simply said they were delighted for them. These are not unintelligent people. I highly doubt it is because they simply do not realize. Hmm. Again, it sounds like they're hiding something, huh? Like as if something is holding them by the gunpoint or something to say those things, probably. I imagine they didn't want to discuss family issues in front of outsiders. But still, the more I think back over that conversation, the more it doesn't sit right. Keep a close eye on them, Hisashi. Yes, sir. What the fuck? Whoa! Where did you come from? A ninja? This <laughs> is one of my most trusted members of the Shumatsu Band. He's been quietly watching out for us this whole time. Thanks to his trailer, it's kind of cute to know that Sayu also works for Yato. I just want to say that. Merely doing my duty, sir. Keep a close watch on the clan representatives we met today. Well received. I'm on the case. Oh, and I almost forgot. That milk I just had? Please order one more and deliver it to Toma. As you wish, sir. Alright. Oh no, poor Toma. What? What? Why are we saying poor Toma? I'm happy for him. What the heck? Good luck, Toma. Sir Kamisato. Lady I guess Toma is going to get, I guess, scared She's by waiting for you in the ninja. courtyard. Thank you kindly. How convenient. Let's go and see Hiragi Chisato. Wait, is there anything I can buy from him by chance? Thanks for coming. Hope to see you again. Maybe this whole creativity theme really will work out. Never mind. Guess I'll have to come back here if he's there. <laughs> uh, so far, this quest is pretty, uh. content. Is how I want to phrase it. No offense, though. It's just... I swear a lot of these quests have felt like this to me. Where they don't stand out. They just feel content. Like world building. It doesn't feel like anything too significant. Which I guess is the hence of a story quest. Compared to the Archon story that's more interesting. But... I don't know what to say to that. Hello. I heard that Sir Kamisato had brought some guests, but I didn't know it was you two. It's been a while, Lady Hiragi. How have you been faring? This is a rare privilege, Sir Kamisato. It is not often that I have the chance to meet you, let alone here in the comfort of my own home. I'm doing very well indeed, thank you. You must be so busy. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and congratulate Kamaji and I. It really means a lot. But of course. The Tri Commission are the servants of the Shogun, and we should look out for one another. In fact, we visited Sir Kujo just now. It's clear that he's very much looking forward to the wedding. Perhaps his joy is infectious, for I am now feeling rather elated myself. I sincerely wish you a joyful wedding and a blissful marriage. <sighs> Thank you for your kind words. 
<clears throat> this was not an easy decision to make. We will both have to work harder from now on. I'm sure the news will cause something of a stir. But come what may, we will stand as one and face whatever the future throws at us, together. The more I hear her voice, why does she sound like Raiden Shogun just, just very slightly? Sounds like things are pretty tough for you, Chisato. Just slightly. Yes. Um, to be honest, I'm still a little nervous about it all. But it Kamaji like has been so supportive. His promises have comforted me a lot. It sounds like you have some considerable reservations, Lady Hiragi. Yes. Well, there are so many things I need to consider. In case you were wondering, I was not actually entertaining VIPs just now. Really? I was in fact meeting with one of the Kanjo Commission's officers, Shinojo. Bruh, what? I thought the man went go quietly cry in the corner and just try to like, cheer himself up, but he actually did something ballsy like that. I hope he's okay with confronting that. Oh, really? Him? Mm hmm. He charged in all of a sudden and said that he had something very important to tell me. Mm -hmm. He didn't mince his words. Basically, he doesn't want me to marry Kamachi. Wow. Okay. That was really ballsy of him. Okay. He went there. He has okay. always been a calm and contained person who never acts out of line. I was quite shocked to see him so agitated. Could that man be a love you, girl? He's in love with you, girl. But despite all that, what he was saying made a lot of sense. He thinks that now is a bad time for this wedding to happen. Oh, you think so? Or is he just trying to conf like confront like a common enemy of himself? Maybe, just, just maybe, there's maybe more to this still. I still feel that. He pointed out that I am like the final pillar propping up my clan. If I marry into the Kujo clan, that pillar is taken away. There will no longer be a voice of authority in the Hiraki clan. And it could be a disastrous move for my personal image, too. Really? It's just two families becoming one big family, though, right? What's the big deal? Traditionally, in Inazuma, clan affiliation influences every facet of life. After the wedding, Lady Hiragi will belong to the Kujo clan. The Kanjo Commission's attitude toward you may undergo some significant changes thereafter. Precisely. This is a terrible thing to be saying, but... I'm starting to have second thoughts. Maybe I went along with it all too easily. Maybe I allowed myself to be pushed into this. Uh, I'm so sorry. I can't believe I'm making my guests listen to me complaining. No problem at all. The Ashiro Commission has a duty to listen to you. Now that I've heard your concerns, I should offer to help you as best I can. For instance, by helping you gather your thoughts on the matter. Now, we heard from Sir Kujo that his decision to tie the knot was prompted by a letter he received from you. But we've also heard that you did not write that letter. Sir Kujo thought that perhaps you were just being coy. Oh, dear. Perhaps I should have kept that part to myself. What? Wait. But that was... It was just a prop in his playful proposal, wasn't it? It was clearly purpose designed, what with all the fancy lettering and so on. Fancy lettering, you say? So I am to understand that had it not been for this letter, you two may not have chosen this moment to be wed? When it comes down to it... Yes, I think so. Oh, do you mean to say that this letter is not what I thought it to be? Sir Kujo maintains that the letter was penned by your hand. Huh? But then... How did... Oh my god. Somebody else sent her the letter. If I'm not mistaken... If... If I'm not mistaken... 
Like I said in that world quest, I remember delivering a letter to Kujo Kamiji's? Like, either it was an assistant or somebody who worked for him. Alongside him. That was before he became, like, the acting lord of the Tenryo Commission. Did that mean... That I delivered a letter to somebody who I thought would deliver it to Kujo and gave him something else? And then somebody forged one? They wouldn't do that, would they? Either way, it's wonderful to see how much you both trust one another. In that sense, you could say that the origin of the letter is ultimately not of great importance. Really? Who knows? Perhaps Sir Kujo was the one being coy. After all... He had no particular reason to be forthcoming with us about the details of his playful proposal. <sighs> Something about that bothers me now. I understand. <laughs> As you say, ultimately, the origin of the letter doesn't matter. But my position does matter. <sighs> Kamaji and I thought that we needn't worry about anything that lies ahead. Because we can face it all together. But now, I... I think I should give it some more thought. Marriage is the most important decision of your life. Don't let yourself regret it. It is also part of the Yashiro Commission's job to help people through difficult times. I say this as an advocate for you personally, and for the Hiragi clan. Please. Do not be compelled by circumstances to make any decision that goes against your will. To be together with the one you love is a sacred thing. It is my earnest wish that both of you may enjoy a bright and beautiful future, not a bittersweet one. I take to heart every word you have said to me. I can't thank you enough, Sir Kamisato. I'll think very carefully about your advice. All that matters is that you follow your heart. <sighs> Since you'll be needing some time to think things over, we will excuse ourselves now. Oh, wait! Let me see you out. Thank you, Lady Hiragi, but there will be no need. Really? Traveler, let's find somewhere to talk. Uh, I see. I know what he's gonna talk about, too. I freaking know who you're gonna, what he's gonna say. Alright, Miss... Chisato, it's nice seeing you. What should I do? Oh, Kamaji. Wow, I felt that. Jesus. We're going all the way out over here. Wait, I think about it. Have I ever bought anything over here? Oh my god, what the fuck? Why is this so expensive? What? I can't even tell you how gay that is. I know that this is here, but I'm gonna quickly grab some of these. You're not getting meat. Give me that. And then I might as well grab this too. Hiragi Chisato is on a totally different page than Kujo Kamiji. What the hell happened? Something about this seems off, and that bothers me a lot. Ever since the travelers started questioning it, I can't help but question it myself. If there's nothing to add up to the equation of the problem that we have thoughts about, and that if something's wrong, I must confront it, or it's going to continue to bother me. Ayato, why did you give her such vague suggestions? Couldn't you just have told her what you'd do in her position? Cause Paimon's pretty sure you have an idea. The problem is, it's not what he's supposed to do. I've said everything I can, given the Yashiro Commission's stance. Interfering too much with other Commission's domestic issues will only create trouble. Exactly. That was one of the reasons why I say he couldn't really say too much. The more I think about it, the stranger this all seems. But Hiragi Chisato has yet to see it. We must be vigilant. 
strange. In what way? You didn't notice it? Someone wants Hiragi Chisato to be married as soon as possible. And if my guess is right, it is someone from within the Kanjo Commission. This person is presumably also responsible for the mysterious and misleading letter. It seems like the letter that I delivered and the letter that was received were two different things. As my assumption still thinks is in question. If that's the case, that kind of sucks. Because who would do this and why? Think about this. A lowly officer is greatly worried about Hiragi Chisato's future. While the heads of the supporting clans ostensibly have no concern at all. It doesn't add up. Yeah, it doesn't. When someone's words and actions do not match, you need to infer their intentions from their behavior. Mm -hmm. So is someone trying to get Hiragi Chisato into trouble? So someone coveting Hiragi Chisato's position. I think somebody's trying to take advantage of her position. That's probably why they want her to be married as soon as possible. Yes. It's a smart strategy. Far superior to the one adopted by the Tenryo Commission's Takatsukasa clan. Even had the forged letter failed and been seen for what it was, there would have been no repercussions. They could simply have explained it away as a misguided but well-meaning matchmaking attempt by a member of the family. Right. But if the letter were to achieve its goal as it has so far, the perpetrator would successfully weaken the Hiragi clan without ever having to lift a finger against them. All under the guise of simply encouraging a wedding. That's if sus, Hiragi man. Chisato having married into the Kujo clan and the head of the Hiragi clan in prison, challenges to the Hiragi clan's leadership would begin to emerge throughout the ranks of the Kanjo Commission. Eventually, another clan would take the Hiragi clan's place. All the more problem why it sucks that we can't get to the bottom of this because we have nothing to go on. All this at this point is just theorizing what may happen and not actually knowing with evidence. Actually, we have evidence. His name is Shinojo. Well, are you sure that's enough to go on? He's the only one that's against it, right? There had to be more than one person. Shinojo? We don't have much to hmm. go on. He should be back by now. Ninja? Yes, sir. Paimon did not deal with this. Did they take uh -huh. one of the Kanjo Commission officers away? Yes. His name is Shinojo. Ooh, they took As him I away? Expected. Is he in jail or some shit? They cannot afford to let this opportunity pass them by. They have to act now while the Hiragi clan is at its weakest. Hiragi Chisato had been persuaded by Kujo Kamaji, and the wedding was sure to go ahead. But after Chisato's meeting with Shinojo, she began to have second thoughts. In their eyes, Officer Shinojo has interfered with their plan. But why did they suspect him and not us? Uh, I don't Someone think they would suspect was eavesdropping us. on our conversation with Chisato the entire time. That's why I was a little reserved. I'm actually not surprised either. Again, that's why I felt like he couldn't say that much. But you know what? Now I understand why he says Shinojo is evidence. Because we need to keep watching their actions after hearing that statement, but I guess the ninja really did his job well. <gasps> no way! Whew. Yeah. Lucky Paimon didn't say anything stupid! <sighs> but Chisato got what you meant about the letter though, right? I think so. I think so. But whoever is behind this will not allow their plan to fail now. They will not be inclined to respect Hiragi Chisato's own wishes. Her stance was so passive that she was easily manipulated treated like a pawn with even her marriage becoming a battleground for political power play. Despite all of this, she still believed that a happy future was awaiting her. When she formally marries into the Kujo clan, she will lose her title as daughter of the Hiragi clan, her position in the Kanjo commission, and above all, her independence. That's fucking sad, dude. It's just so disappointing and just depressing to hear that just because she wants to be happy she'll lose everything just to be happy she won't really gain much out of that because of that she'll feel like a nobody but only have that one somebody that's with her it's just i don't know about that it just makes me sad here, huh. marriage is such a trap <laughs> what 
Marriage is such a trap. Why do you have to say it like that? Can't let this evil plan come to fruition. Easier said than done. The perpetrators are manipulating everything from the shadows, letting unsuspecting pawns do their work. This is what makes their approach so smart. We, meanwhile, are out in the open. If we attempt to stop this wedding from happening, we will become the villains of the story and face immense public backlash. Well, on one hand, I think the Traveler can deal with it. However, again, like I said, the... Like I said, though, Ayato's position will be so massively, like, a problem if he ends up digging too f much further. Uh, so what are we gonna do? At this stage, if the perpetrators wish to maintain control over the situation, their only option is to come out from the shadows and bear their fangs. I will wait for that moment to arrive. But first things first. We must go and rescue Shinojo. He has done nothing wrong and does not deserve to be punished. So like I said, and as I thought, so they just like chucked Tell him in me jail. Where Shinojo is. We'll head off right now. I know exactly where he's at. He's probably in that same area by the Kamiosato estate, right? Or is it just in Kanjo Commission's like underground? Because there is an underground area outside, but did this go further out than I expected? Okay, never mind. It is for that than I expected. Oh, I'm here. I grab them snacks. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that was my area. So it doesn't matter. Uh, let's go over here real quick. Can I buy something from him? Where is he gone? No, he's here. Thanks for coming. Hope to see. Maybe this God damn it. I thought I could actually buy something from him because I wanted to. Whatever. Alright. Over here. I hope everyone's going to be enjoying the Story Coast event. It just sucks that I didn't eat or anything when I started this. I just knew that my freaking resin was kept, so that's why I started the stream earlier today. Which sucks. Because I didn't plan to stream today, I plan to stream tomorrow. Which would have been a better stream, but because of this event, I now feel like I have to commit a little bit so that I have opportunity to upload other things throughout the week and weekend, and yeah, I'm going to do that. So, I'm going to be doing a big time skip on one of my other playthroughs that I'm live streaming, because I'm a little sad that no ch I have no choice but to do that. I'm just going to time skip it. <sighs> inside here oh my god really would he to approach them or should I what are you doing release Shinojo this instant wow stop this at once it's the Yashiro commissioner <sighs> well we take orders from our master no one else really then please, excuse me. Don't tell me I'm going to test him out here. That would be strange, wouldn't it? Okay, I guess we are. Alright, no offense to Yato. I like his play so, but not enough that I could roll for him. He's kind of a one-trick pony, but not really. He just does one move over and over, which I already have enough character to do that. I already have a really good freeze team, so I don't want anything else. Wow, his trial is better when you play as him in his actual trial, because he had better artifacts than this. They gave him a bless with C3, which is a bit different. I guess it's fair. Soldiers, quick! I think this is cool, though. Don't get me wrong. Solidify. Everybody stand back! Cascade! Uh, 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 u
pretty easy. Blast! Let's go! We must report to Master right away! Hey! Get back here! No need to find out. No, stop. Where are you going? What the we heck? Need bait to catch the fish anyway. Leave them be. I think I saw a key fall to the ground during the fight. Let's free Shinojo first. Mm, but in all the chaos, it must have been kicked to one side. Hmm. Where did it end up? What the? It's what a the? Tanuki? What? Oh, do tell Paimon that the Tanuki took it. Dude, I'm Let's not going in his see. stomach. I ain't going in his stomach to take a key, bro. I'm not doing it. About to throw hands. <laughs> Imagine? Dude, I'd be down to see her throw hands, though. That'd be funny, actually. Oh. Oh, he's right there. Am I, how did the box not... Okay, whatever. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, wait. What is this over here? Why would he throw me for a loop like that? People waste my time sometimes. That's why I don't like the Tanukis that much, even though oh, they are thank cool. Thank God you're here. Please help me. Oh, thank the. Yeah, don't mind that. Open this time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was terrifying. They said they were gonna throw the cage into the sea with me still inside. Really? Oh, wait, you have to listen to me. Lady Chisato's wedding. They, it's all part of a scheme. Someone's trying to use the wedding for their own ends. Oh, you think I didn't know that? Well, at least we're caught up to speed. No more small talk on that one. Calm down, Shinojo. It's okay. We knew about all that. Huh? I knew something was off. Our suspicions were roused to this possibility, and so far, everything is unfolding rather as we expected. Those behind this plan are not going to give up easily. Their next move is imminent. We must devise sufficient countermeasures. Yashiro Commissioner, you're personally going to take action? This yeah. situation has consequences for the whole Tri-Commission, and the stability of all Inazumas at stake. My hitherto neutral stance ends now. <sighs> The Almighty Shogun has always despised these pathetic power games. As a commissioner, I am a servant of the Shogun, and it is therefore my duty to handle these tiresome matters on her behalf. Hmm, that's true. Shinojo, <laughs> that's true. don't return to your post yet. Find somewhere safe and stay hidden. Yeah, you gotta stay Traveler. hidden. They're gonna Pine. catch us again. Let's get out of here. A short while after leaving. Well, really? if it isn't the Yashiro Commissioner. Really? Really, my guy? I hear you showed up here with no explanation and attacked my men. Who said no explanation? You wouldn't happen to be carrying out some sort Just of secret magic mission, panel. now would you? It's like a cat. I heard <laughs> that someone was taking the law <laughs> That'd be funny, actually, hands. just scratching her face. I can see that. I see Inazuma, her biting somebody in the leg, though. I could not in good conscience stand idly by. Shinojo may be your retainer, but the law does not grant you the right to abuse him. Abuse? Nonsense. I was just teaching him a lesson. Out of nowhere, a low-ranking officer decides to barge in on Lady Haragi and starts spouting out the most absurd and insulting nonsense one can imagine. A truly egregious loss of decorum. I dare say... The poor lady was terrified. So, you're saying that you know absolutely nothing of the reasons for his actions. Because otherwise, why would you describe it as out of nowhere? Two people from two different clans are getting married. That's all there is to it. 
And yet this young gentleman took it upon himself to fabricate a nonsensical disaster story around it. How should I know what he was thinking? Even if she marries into the Kujo clan, Lady Haragi will always be the daughter of the Haragi clan and the most distinguished member of the Konjo Commission. We are, and always will be, her loyal assistants. It's our duty to see that she never has to worry about anything. Loyalty and duty are our guiding principles. Not only did this god show no regard for either, he went out of his way to upset our lady. How could one do such a thing? Did Even she get upset down though? To a rare moment of impulsivity. I have to say, I'm surprised to see one of such noble standing as yourself rushing to his defense. Darn it! This guy is good. Annoyingly good. But he's also difficult to argue against because he's fabricating the whole thing with his guards behind him. He can say what he wants because we didn't see what happened between Shinojo and her. That's why he's talking like that. Funny. I'm suddenly reminded of an anecdote I'd like to share with you. There's not been a dull moment since I took up my post in the Yashiro Commission. Every day I've been exposed to new and fascinating things. For instance, a merchant from abroad once told me about a curious kind of bird with the most extraordinarily long tongue. So long, in fact, that you can tie two knots in the portion of it that extends out of its beak. I'm sure someone as erudite as yourself could be able to guess what people do with these unusual avians. Nah, keep them as pets. Nah, I know where you're going with this. <laughs> You'd think, wouldn't you? Mm, but there's a catch. You see, this bird is of no use to humans whatsoever, and certainly doesn't make a suitable pet. If you catch one, the best thing you can do is actually cut its tongue off and throw it out of the window. Wow! The longest tongue has the most to say, but don't be deceived as it chirps away, lest the song it sings lead you astray. He's basically saying the more you talk, the more guilty you are. What a way to shit talk somebody. That's some shit right there. <laughs> you... I say, Yashiro Commissioner, are you here simply to mock the Konjo Commission? Is that all you have to say? Far from it. In my mind, the Kanjo Commission is made up of honorable individuals, upright and forthright, conscientious and loyal. It is unbecoming of such people to resort to lies, deception, and filibustering, all as part of a plan to remove Lady Hiragi from her position in the Kanjo Commission. Yashiro Commissioner, please don't make accusations without any evidence. The evidence is standing right in front of me, is it not? I have a credible witness who can confirm you were quick to try and make him disappear as soon as he said something that you did not like. Ugh, dear me. I can't believe the Grand Matsura clan is now represented by... someone with less of a sense of loyalty than even an ordinary servant. <laughs> Prima's face looking angry is just funny to me. You studied hard and took a government position, only to make it to where you are now just to play these petty power games behind the scenes. I'm not sure whether it's because you're smart enough to play the system, or too foolish to know any better. Damn. In your years of service to the Shogun, not only have you managed to glean nothing good from the people around you, you have also let yourself be blinded by self-interest. And now you have ruined your once bright future. Oh. I'm not angry, Mr. Matsura. I just feel sorry for you. Damn. <laughs> Is that right? Then tell me, if you're so bright, what exactly do you think you can do to me? This is at most a Konjo Commission issue. We'll handle this amongst ourselves. You are reaching rather outside of your bounds, Yashiro Commissioner. If you seek to involve yourself in other clans' affairs, might I be so bold, then, as to question your motives in doing so? I think you are simply opposed to an alliance between the Konjo Commission and Tinryo Commission. Because the new balance of power in the Tri Commission would be a threat to you personally. I don't get it. After everything he just said, he's trying to twist it in his favor. I'm actually amused by this. So you come here with an elaborate excuse to try and break up this marriage. 
I mean, hmm. you can call an excuse if you want to. So, that's how you view it. Well, I have to admit, you clearly are far more talented than I at monitoring the power balance within the Tri Commission. Let me be crystal clear. This wedding is going to happen, and nothing is going to change that. The notices have already been sent out. All of Inazuma City knows about it now. Most of the public weren't aware that Kujo Kamaji and Hiragi Chisato were courting. But you can bet it's all anybody's talking about now. Once the notices go out, that's it. The wedding is a sure thing, even if it hasn't happened just yet. Hmm. I see. It seems like I was wrong. <laughs> so suddenly we see eye to eye. I had expected you to at least be smarter than most. Um, but it seems that I was gravely mistaken. Uh. Kami Sato Ayoto! <laughs> How dare you! How you dare made you. your move. Now, I suppose it's time I made mine. The time for the check. What do you me? mean? Do you seriously think this marriage will bring the Kanjo Commission and the Tenryo Commission together? Isn't it at all possible that the Kanjo Commission becomes marginalized as a consequence of this union? Hmm. Goodness me. Well, I've learned a great deal from talking to you. That will be all for now. If you would excuse me, I shall take my leave. Damn. Damn. Hey, hey! What was all that? Paimon didn't follow at all. They had their scheme, but fortunately I was prepared. As I said, they ended up coming out from the shadows and revealing themselves. That's what he wanted too. I just didn't think he'd do it that soon. Then I thought they would do it in secret. Of my plan. I mean, I guess it was a good time, but he, he kind of screwed himself coming out like that. Honestly, I thought it'd be three of them and not just him. That was just far too convenient. But goddamn. The way the guy tried to twist the words in his favor, he remind that that reminds me of somebody, and I hate remembering that person. Okay, he's a person in my family that does that shit. I can't speak to him at all. I don't see him eye to eye because of the way he speaks to people. He's lied and been deceitful to my family for a long time. Even though we've given him so many tries. Like, I just stopped caring. And it frankly makes me frustrated to be related to him. Hmm. Look at this. The daughter of the Kanjo Commission's Hiragi clan and the master of the Tenryo Commission's Kujo clan are getting married. <laughs> Sounds like an all-around perfect match. Don't Ted, you think? They see the freaky Yacho Commissioner just chilling here. For sure. I'm just surprised. It seems very sudden. I hadn't heard a single word about it until now. Good luck to them, I say. I'm sure it must have been a hard decision. Looks like the wedding is definitely going ahead. It's still too early to make that conclusion. Our adversary wants to push this marriage past the point of no return. However, we can still beat them at their own game. All we gotta do is let Kujo Kamaji know. Kamaji is willing to help us. Well, we gotta change his whole mindset about, hey, you probably should marry your woman right now, all right? It ain't a good time. <laughs> With him being all bright and happy, this is gonna suck, but. <gasps> Maybe somewhere outside Inazuma. Ugh. Don't tell me that you're thinking of adventuring in another nation again. Give me Sumeru. Give me Sumeru right now. <laughs> I think about it. When was the last time I checked this guy? Oh, I did get everything. Yay. I 
I'm a little worried though. I don't think this is gonna end a happy ending. I'm certain of that. It's gonna end bittersweet from the way this whole story is unfolding. So it's like either they're gonna come to understanding terms or it's gonna end in conflict. That kind of bittersweet. Welcome. I just heard that the news of my wedding has been officially announced. It seems so sudden. I wasn't ready yet. Yeah, about that. Um, it's kind of complicated. Yeah, shit just happened. We need to talk. Briefly explain the situation. I see. So someone's trying to take advantage of our marriage. If you proceed with the wedding, the repercussions for you are likely to be minimal. But we must take Lady Hiragi's situation into consideration. I've previously considered this possibility. But in the end, we're getting married for true love. And I've promised her that I'll do everything in my power to protect her. It's not just a boat, you I know. understand where you're coming from, but to be frank, she should not need your protection. That is the problem. She shouldn't need it. Or, is a to put it another way, you have tacitly admitted that Lady Hiragi will need your help to get through the hard times ahead. Which perhaps suggests that, deep down, you realize all she stands to lose. I... Oh, shit. I don't mean to criticize you. It is natural to want to protect our loved ones. You're an intelligent and gentle person, and I'm sure you would have been able to think about this more objectively were you not so emotionally involved in the situation. Correct. I'm sure you admire Lady Hiragi for being the independent, gentle, resilient, and strong-willed person she is. For the sake of marrying you, this wonderful woman will become someone who has to depend on you for the rest of her life. Are you really okay with that? I mean, I get where he's coming from, but I feel like there was a better way to say that. But he should understand. Uh, I love her with all my heart and would do anything to make her happy. That's why I cannot abide to see her suffer or be manipulated by other people. Yeah, you can't just let that be the reasoning for their marriage manipulation. The Ashiro Commissioner, you're right. It was naive and selfish of me to take things this far. But does this mean they can never get married? That's why I say it's bittersweet. Late, isn't it? There are notices everywhere. I, I don't have a matter. plan, but it needs a villain. Uh. Sir Cujo, in order for my plan to work, you and I must both play the role of antagonists. But it is not without its risks. Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought a child were going to get involved, but it looks like we're going to be watching from the sidelines. What's about to happen? Are you willing to help? If there's a way to salvage this... So this is how they're doing it. the antagonist scene. I've told the people at the Kanjo Commission that the marriage isn't going to unify the Kanjo Commission and the Tenryo Commission. <laughs> On the contrary, it's a terrible idea that will marginalize the Kanjo Commission. The context for this is that they are planning to use this marriage to bring down the Hiragi clan. And the key to their success is coming up against no resistance to the marriage from the Tenryo Commission. But what if we were to imagine for a moment that since the affairs of the Vision Hunt Decree, the Tenryo Commission has been planning to make a move against the weakened Kanjo Commission. The only reason you have been hesitant to act since taking over the Tenryo Commission is because you care about Lady Hiragi's feelings. The fuck? And so, your plan is to liaise with the Yashiro Commission, to marry her and bring her out of the Kanjo Commission as soon as possible. Once that is achieved, as the person in charge of the Tenryo Commission, you no longer have any reason to hesitate. I see. This is an ingenious plan. It takes advantage of the situation perfectly. Hmm. This will make Hiragi Chisato indispensable. I guess we have to, like, finalize her stance. So to make it sound more important than it actually is from their manipulation, I guess is the whole case of this. Exactly. Our purpose is to change Lady Hiragi's position yeah. from an unnecessary burden to an indispensable asset. Right. By doing so, we can even strengthen her position in the Kanjo Commission. That is what Once they need, Once our adversaries huh? realize how the network That's of connections said, behind the scenes really looks, they'll do their utmost to stop this wedding from happening. It's then, all because her father's in prison, though. Clear up the mess Dave created. Which sucks. Got it. Okay. Uh, so the network of connections. Oh, this is all way too complicated. 
complicated for Paimon. Can you just tell us what you need us to do? We have to make sure that the behind-the-scenes story comes to the attention of our dear friends in the Kanjo Commission. Matsura, with whom I spoke earlier, will now be fearing the worst. No doubt he'll be on the lookout for the first sign of a crisis. In that case, he will almost certainly have placed informants throughout Inazuma City. What we need to do is to use these informants as a breeding ground for our fake intel. Sir Kujo, there are certain things that I need you to attend to personally. It's almost time. My ninja has located one of the informants. Let's go and see if he'll take the bait. I hope one day we can get Paimon as like it'd probably be like end game of this game though that we'll get like a thing where we can have um, Paimon as a pet, where we can uh, have her fly around with us rather than me having to use Shiki Taisho's familiar, but it's whatever. I hope one day it might be when they actually finish all the other regions. I just can't wait to see what the roadmap's gonna look like for the map, because I still have no idea. People have, like, tried to leak and say, this is probably what the map would look like in the <laughs> coming years. And the way I imagine it from what people have shown in their, uh, friend arts and whatnot, there was one that looked really convincing, that I have to say, looks really dope. If it ends up looking like that, I might end up looking back at that in the future, but... For the most part, I'm not going to look into that because I first need to see how much of a gap between Sumeru and Liwa is going to actually be when we get to that. That person is one of Matsura's informants. Oh. Let's follow him. Be careful not to get seen. Oh, fuck. Sneaky sneak. Uh. Get there like a crowd. It is a crowd option. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You want to turn Did around? You see you? that? Sir Kujo Kamaji just came past here with a huge group of people. Could it be related to the wedding announcement? Hmm, maybe, but from the look on his face, it seems like something much more serious. He and his men seem pretty intense at the moment. Isn't it all a bit excessive for a wedding? Even his informant is questioning it, bro. Wait, did he see me last second? <gasps> He's running! He's running! He's on the run! Uh. Don't mind me, guard. I'm just gonna be lightly crouching past you. The Tenryo Commission has sent a load of people to Rito. I guess it must have something to do with the wedding. I think in all, there must have been about a hundred people so far. That doesn't sound good. What could be going on? Uh, I hope it's just Sir Kujo Kamaji being overcautious. Who is he talking to? The fuck? He was just kneeling down, looking at the ground like what? Well, who is he talking to? The news is spreading fast, but it appears Master's fears may be well placed. There's no way they sent this many people just to escort the bride. I have to investigate. As expected. Let's follow him. What do you mean he's too far away? I'm right here. Wow. It's like the whole Terrio Commission is here. Yeah, I saw all the guards there. Uh. Excuse me. Has something happened on this road? I'm a businessman passing through, and it's a little disconcerting to see this place so heavily guarded. Ah, please don't be alarmed. As I'm sure you've heard, the wedding of Sir Kujo Kamaji and Lady Hiragi Chisato will take place any day now. Sir Kujo decided to send for Lady Hiragi ahead of time, and have her live in Inazuma City during the run-up to the wedding. Uh, I see. Really? We are here to clear the way for Lady Hiragi. So Lady Hiragi is about to come either. to Inazuma You'll City? You'll see more Tenryo Commission members as you go further along. We're all here for the same duty. Uh, isn't this a little excessive? 
Sir Kujo holds Lady Hiragi in the highest regard and wants to treat her with the utmost respect from beginning to end. I see. I understand. Sorry to disturb your work. Hmm. Drat. It's exactly as Master feared. Really? They say they're here to guard the road, but really they're poised to attack if Master doesn't allow Lady Uragi to leave Rito. Wait, no. If Lady Uragi does leave, they'll have all the more reason to strike. But we're in no state to defend against a Temriel Commission attack. What the I fuck? I must tell Master right away. What are you talking about? A uh, tag? Like... Dude, they're like... They're ha it's like it's if they're gonna have like a political war over this, dude. But I guess he does realize how situationally serious it is. That should do it. The seeds have been sown. In this atmosphere, mounting suspicion will nurture fear among the Kongjo Commission. Hmm. Now we wait patiently for it to grow and ferment. The calm before the storm is always the part that unsettles people the most. Right. Is it really gonna own up and apologize just like that? <laughs> if you're curious to find out, you can visit the Hiragi clan in Rito in a couple of days. Really? I have some other business to attend to, so I won't be spending any more time on this situation. In any case, we've made our move. It's only a matter of time before they give up and surrender. Why are you so confident? Hmm. This is not my first time. Really? Well then, goodbye for now. I truly hope that things will work out in Hiragi Chisato's best interests. He left kind of abruptly. Are things really gonna turn out like he predicted? Let's just keep an eye on things and see you? what happens. Well, let's go to Rito again in two days. Let's go to Rito now and then we're gonna have to Time skip. Aha. I wish this would go faster when you go day after tomorrow, but it doesn't go faster. Talk to the people, Rito. These people from the Tenryo Commission have been here for days now. I guess they're here to pick up Lady Hiraki. But why would it be taking so long? I heard that the Kanjo Commission suddenly said they don't want Lady Hiragi to leave. Ah! Uh <laughs> I guess he was right. To be honest, right. I'd be hesitant if I were her. A crowd this size comes to Rito? Who knows what they could be planning? Bruh. Shh, stay quiet. Someone might hear you. Oh, uh, right. Sorry. How did things get to this point? Oh my god, what the fuck is happening over here? Hello, how may I help? Why is there such a strong Tenryo Commission presence here? We arrived here two days ago to escort Lady Hiragi to Inazuma City. Sir Kujo Kamaji gave us very strict orders, so we have to obey. But every time we attempt to receive the bride, the Hiragi clan always finds an excuse to delay things. 
Since we haven't fulfilled our duties yet, we decided to stay in Rito until Lady Haragi is ready to come with us. People suspect something's wrong. We apologize. It was not our intention to stay here so long. We promise our presence here will not impact ordinary people's lives. We can only hope that the leaders of the Hiragi clan will start to cooperate soon. If this stalemate continues, <laughs> who knows? Sir Kujo might give us orders to be less accommodating. I see. I see. So this is playing antagonist card now, huh? So they're gonna possibly either force her by conflict or something else for that matter i feel like it's gonna be something else though it's gonna be a big decision by the other opposing party oh it just How starts much longer up. does your master plan to hold them off oh it's the that guy i have no yeah. idea we're stuck in limbo here yeah this guy master's been very on edge these past few days he gets irate over the smallest things and is suspicious of everything he's been yelling at me a lot I understand that he's anxious, but I mean, what can we do? I've told him before, never cross the Yashiro Commissioner. Yeah, good advice. With him, you just know that whatever he's doing, a lot of preparation is... What is wrong with this guy's eyebrows? If what Lady the hell? If Lady is really taken away, then what will the Tenryo Commission do? And what will the Yashiro Commission do? Uh, maybe we should tell Master to discuss things with Lady Hiragi. Discuss things, right? Hiragi Chisato is now at the center of every conversation in Rito. By now, the Kanjo Commission probably knows how important she is. But what about what she thinks? Huh. Well, let's go and see. So that's how you feel about that. Naturally, I do feel worried for her as well. She probably cooped up inside and can't do anything can't leave where she sits at because they're forcing her here oh traveler hey yo i assume you've heard about everything that's been going on out there what on earth is happening don't worry we can explain everything so what happened was ah uh, let's go somewhere else you make sure that no one's eavesdropping, but uh, the before it's After the commission aid. arrived, yeah, they suddenly became alarmed. Situation, yes. They keep having Can't speak. secret discussions <sighs> and won't allow me to have any direct contact with the Tenryo Commission. Right. I never would have thought that this was Sir Kamisato's plan. <laughs> now it all makes sense. Since we last met, have you made up your mind? I'm sorry. I haven't. Makes sense. Maybe it's okay. Maybe there's no right or wrong decision. Maybe everything would be easier if I simply didn't have the choice. I used to tell myself things like this to avoid having to think about it. But once I saw the notices appearing out of nowhere on the streets, signaling that the wedding was confirmed, I didn't feel reassured at all. Instead, I felt a great sense of regret. Of regret? I keep thinking back to what Sir Kamisato said. This is supposed to be my bright and beautiful future. But what if it's not? This is exactly what he was worried about. I can happily accept that if someone was trying to take advantage of my marriage, I should absolutely refuse to go through with it. But that's not the answer I'm looking for. And also, now that things have escalated to this point, it will be tricky to resolve. Yep. And I think that's the whole point. The Tenryo Commission is going to keep up this stance until this side does something. Until they do something, it's either going to escalate further from one side or it's going to escalate, like, a different way. But I'm guessing they're taking the waiting game to heart first. Oh, Lady Huragi, here you are. You scared me for a second. I thought you'd gone missing. Mm, this guy. You... Wait, you're the ones who were with the Yashiro Commissioner that day. What do you think you're doing here? Are you trying to convince Lady Hiragi to leave? Okay, Calm stop down. jumping They're my friends. to conclusion. They're just here to visit me. Friends? Are you sure? Just friends? Oh, go fuck Lady Hiragi, I told you already. These are exceptional circumstances. You need to be more vigilant in everything you do. You are extremely important to us. 
and to the entire Conjo Commission. Who's to say they don't have a hidden agenda? If you want to accuse us of trying to abduct her, just come out and say it! You're acting far less dignified than we last met. Don't be rude. You've been very highly strung lately, seeing everything as a threat. I... <clears throat> you won't even follow Lady Haraki's orders now? <laughs> Lol. Listen to me. I know all the ins and outs of everything that's happened so far. His arrival might well be your very last chance to fix this. Hmm. The present state of affairs in Rito shows me that the situation has escalated well past the point where you could hope to control it. If this deadlock continues any longer, we will have nothing to gain and much to lose. Yeah. That's why I'm like, either it's going to escalate or it's going to change something or another. It's still going to be pretty bad. This is not an order. All I need you to do is give me an explanation and take responsibility for the situation. <clears throat> yes. Understood, my lady. I shall discuss with the others right away. He gonna do something. He gonna do something ugly. Good job, Chisato. You handled that well. I was so nervous. But I thought things are now so critical that I should at least give it a try. And it worked remarkably well. That's what I call a voice of authority. You got that right in Shogun in you, I feel that. Yes, well, let's wait and see what happens. I hope they provide a satisfactory response. A while later, Matsu comes back with his tail we between his legs. Had a discussion and reflected on our mistakes. <laughs> in all honesty, no one can handle the weight of the situation here. Everyone is besides themselves with worry. It'll drive us mad if it continues any longer. You gotta let her go to the city. Uh, right, so I'm so you. sorry. My actions were radical and duplicitous. I was selfish and ignored the greater good. And then I left the situation to fester. Would you? Would you please give us a second chance? For my lady's sake, please give the Conjo Commission another chance. Well, you can't be talking to me. You have to talk to him yourself. This is between you and him. Telling me that doesn't mean nothing. I suppose you're right. The only person who can change the Tinryo Commission's mind will be the Yashiro Commissioner. Yep. We'll head off to the Kamisato Estate shortly and beseech him to help us with the utmost sincerity. <laughs> Lady Huragi, might I ask you to join us? You are the most important person. Without you, we have no other way. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's go see Ayato. Will Ayaka be here now? Because I kind of want to see her. I want to see her big forehead. <laughs> it sounds really rude, but I can't help it. I really can't. As OP as she is as a character in Genshin Impact, I don't know when I'll ever be able to summon for her because I can't do it this second half. I don't know if I'll get her in the future By either. The way, it is what aren't it is. Aren't you a good friend of the Yashiro Commissioner? I'm a good friend Please of her as a sister. Words for me. I can't do that for you. <laughs> we barely met, my guy. You're telling me to put good words in your freaking faith? Ah, no, nah, I'm good. You can do that yourself, mate. I can't do that. Yato's right there, but I just want to look around real quick. It's been a while since we've been in here, so it always feels nostalgic every time I come in here. When we had first met Ayaka, but I guess it's just Ayato in here. Alright, can you stop looking at the blades, my guy? Yashiro Commissioner, I'm sure you've heard the news. The Tinryo Commission has now occupied Rito, refusing to leave until we hand Lady Hiragi over to them. Oh, uh, about that. I realize I have greatly offended you with my atrocious actions. And I realize also that this must sound like the very height of absurdity. But please, 
Have mercy, good sir. <laughs> good night. I'm sorry, Mr. Matsura. I'm exceptionally busy and have but a moment to spare before my next engagement. I fear this leaves no time for small talk. Damn. So, please, if you would be so kind, get straight to the point. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> I know our apology means nothing to you, but we really have nothing else left to offer by this point. I'm terribly sorry. Everyone in the entire Konjo Commission now realizes the gravity of this situation. Uh -huh. Lady Hiragi is indispensable to us. We promise to always support her. I so, see. Would it be at all possible for you to talk to Sir Kujo once more? On our behalf? You make it sound so easy. The Tri Commission will be ridiculed by the public if we choose to withdraw the notices now and eat our words. What do you plan to do about this? To lose face for the Tri Commission is to bring shame to Her Excellency. Are you and your associates ready to face the thunderous wrath of the Almighty Shogun? Mm. We will take full responsibility. We'll publish a new notice and hold a conference to explain the situation. We will make sure that the public knows this was all a huge misunderstanding. We'll do everything we can to minimize the impact. Everything we can. <laughs> ah, Master Matsura, you should have known it would come to this. Whatever were you thinking? But the Tri Commission must always put the interests of Inazuma first. Regardless of what Sir Kujo and I may feel at this present moment. If the situation in Rito is left to fester any further, things may get out of control. But Lady Hiragi and the inhabitants of Rito are innocent. If we fail to contain the situation promptly, the rumor mill will wreak havoc on the Tri Commission's reputation. Try keeping a pet bird. You'll see what I mean. Songbirds who know how to hold a tune can be very pleasant to listen to. But they can also become irritating if they don't know when to stop. Hmm. And as for the ones with excessively long tongues, well, they're so insufferable that they can't be kept as pets at all. But it doesn't take a moment to cut out their tongues and silence them for good. Jesus. Yes, I understand. I've listened to your concerns, and I'll talk to Sir Cujo for you. But I can't guarantee that he will change his mind. I understand. Thank you for your help, Yashiro Commissioner. All right, you ought to return now. I'm sure you have a sizable mess to deal with back in the Kanjo Commission. <laughs> okay. With that smile on his face. Excuse me. Thank you once again, Commissioner. Ah, yes, Lady Hiragi. I have something to tell you. Would you mind? Oh? Why, of course. Sir Kamisato, you became a completely different person just now. It felt so intense. Unruly servants like him need to be severely reprimanded. As a commissioner, the Almighty Shogun trusts me to do her will. I did as I should. But now... I'd like to take off my commissioner hat and share a personal story with you. Oh, please. I'd love to hear it. You must have heard that the Kamisato clan once went through an extremely difficult period. My father worked incredibly hard to compensate for the grave errors made by the Kamisato clan long ago and restore our reputation. The work took a toll on his health and ultimately led to his untimely demise. My mother loved him dearly. She passed soon after. Oh. This sudden turn of events dealt a heavy blow to the Ashiro Commission. Behind the scenes, things became very unstable. Everyone thought that the Kamisato clan had lost power. That made my sister and me nothing but burdens hindering the ambitions of others. It may sound preposterous now, but I assure you that is the truth of what the Ashiro Commission has been through. Commission is now. Back then, I had no choice but to accept the position I was in. While I desperately looked around for powerful supporters, I endured smear campaigns and attempts to exploit me. I had no other choice. 
I had to honor my parents' dying wishes, and I also had a young sister to take care of. I didn't mind what became of me, but my family. No one can ever be allowed to trample over my precious family. Fortunately, I persisted, and the Kamisato clan was able to survive the storm. I think I now know where my sense of loss and confusion was coming from. Shinojo once told me that he saw what was in me in a way that no one else did. That's why he couldn't bear to see me live the rest of my life depending on someone else. I thought the reason I felt unsettled was because of uncertainty over getting married. But the fact is, it's because I felt too young and inexperienced to handle the situation facing me. The reason why Sir Kujo was able to face the prospect of marriage so confidently is because he's prepared for anything. That's it. The situation I'm facing now is the same one he faced back then. When his clan was in crisis, he bravely drew his blade and challenged the Almighty Shogun. And now... Well, that confirmed that with the story quest. It is time for me to make a stand and become my own person. Well said. I'm sure once you have grown and gained confidence, your father will be able to let go and allow you to decide how you want to live the rest of your life. It might not sound exciting, but this kind of personal growth is a necessary step in the pursuit of true happiness. And I'm sure I can get there. I will use this as an opportunity to take over the responsibilities of the Hiragi clan. I'll think about marriage again after everything is more settled. This right. puts less pressure on Kamachi and means I can support and protect myself without having to worry about becoming a burden or dependent on someone else. Right. My best wishes to both of you were and remain heartfelt. When the time comes for the wedding to go ahead, I will come to congratulate you once more. Thank you, Sir Kamisato. I am grateful for everything you have shared with me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to deal with back home. Take care, Lady Hiragi. I'm confident that on your return, you will find your Kanjo Commission associates most receptive to your instruction. Yes. In fact, my recent experience suggests the same. Thank you once again. She really has the air of a leader now. She has a lot in common with Kamaji. They really are a good match for each other. I guess. Heads off to you too, sir. Everyone thought there was no way out until you pulled that super smart strategy out of nowhere. In fact, counter-checking is a perfectly common maneuver in the game of chess. I kind of figured Our that was his intention. this time was easy to deal with. He was smart, but short-sighted, and sloppy in his execution. This outcome is entirely within my expectation. Even so, Paimon could never come up with a plan that cunning in a whole lifetime. Anyway... It's kind of a relief to see that Chisato has decided to set the Hiragi clan straight. I agree. Stability in Inazuma benefits me as well. I wasn't about to pass up an opportunity to make less trouble for myself. You weren't in this just to help Chisato, were you? <laughs> well, the fact is that I am first and foremost the Yashiro Commissioner. Perhaps for Master Matsura, Power is his life's pursuit. But for me, nothing matters more than the stability of Inazuma. A stable nation is the prerequisite for a stable Yashiro Commission. Only then can the Kamisato clan and the other Yashiro Commission clans have a peaceful existence. But human desire will always be a factor in the equation. This is not the first situation of its kind, nor will it be the last. All I have tried to do is make sure the three parties to the Tri-Commission serve to restrain each other. Stasis is not the only form of stability. A balance of power leaving no room for maneuver achieves the same end. Mutual restraint. Another positive outcome is that everyone recognizes how important Lady Hiragi is now. I think I did her a sizable favor in that regard. Dealing with the Hiragi clan will be much easier for her than navigating a new and unfamiliar one. There were so many things at play over this one wedding! Uh, wait a second! 
You weren't trying to stop the wedding from the very beginning, were you? Hmm? I thought straight away it was bad timing. Nevertheless, everything I said to Hiragichi Sato was entirely sincere. If you choose to give up your stance on something once, you'll be having to compromise for the rest of your life. Jesus. I didn't want to see her suffer because she didn't realize what she was getting into. Now, she has the chance to become her own person. Let's see who she becomes. Okay then, guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh, until then, see All you right. next time. Farewell, and profuse thanks to you both. I shall have to host you at the Kamisato estate when my sister is next available. So hopefully that's during the events of sorts. Looks like everything's resolved. Oh, that's totally done. Everything was perfect. Well, except for one minor detail. I somehow ended up with a glass of very peculiar tasting milk. Peculiar? Oh. Or didn't you like it? Oh, yeah, that. You saying you are quite partial to exotic flavors. Oh. <laughs> uh, my lord. <laughs> the traveler had one of those as well. No, I didn't. I had dongo milk. You gave him lavender melon. I'm certain that's what you gave him. Ah, I'm sure he's made a great impression on you. The Traveler did indeed play a critical role in this case. I'm sure both families would have been more guarded against me had he and his companion not been present. It wouldn't have been so easy to get to the heart of the matter. There you go again, my lord. Placing the focus on other people while discreetly performing your job to perfection. <laughs> Naturally. Ah, yes. Now that we're both free, let's finish off that game of chess we started a few days ago. Don't tell me you left the chessboard the same exact position of Toma losing, or at a disadvantage. What now? There's one last thing we gotta wait for. And then that's it. Then we can start the Hues of the Violet Garden. Because uh, I want to see the Gates of Inazuma open so we can uh, see how things go. I'm excited for this event. Ah, uh, so it ends like that. Interesting. Guess that's it then. To be fair, I really didn't want to do this story quest today, but... Because of this event, I felt like it was appropriate for me to do that story quest before starting this event. So this is going to be a longer stream today. Now let's get to the nitty gritty. I saw Venti in the fucking thumbnail, bro. I saw him in the trailer. I need to see this. But right now. I want to see Venti. <gasps> Catherine? Hi, Catherine. We heard that you have a new commission for us. Commission, commission, commission. That's correct. There's a requester who has submitted a designated commission for the two of you. Mm -hmm. A designated commission? Sounds like it must be pretty important. Uh, what kind of task is it exactly? <laughs> There's no need to worry. This commission is not dangerous by any means. Perhaps you have heard that Inazuma will soon be holding a major festival. The magnificent Irodori Festival. Yay! A festival! Oh, come to Irodori think of it, we festival. haven't attended a festival in Inazuma for a while! If I'm not mistaken, this is our first legitimate one. Like, the other one doesn't really count. That was, like, during the Archon story. But this is the Iridori Festival The Yashiro time. Commission and Lady Yai are responsible for all the festival preparations. The one who has requested your help is none other than Lady Yai herself. How convenient. <laughs> you know Miko. She always has some unusual ideas in her head. You can bet a festival planned by her is gonna be one to remember. We'd better go to Grand Narukami Shrine and see what she needs us to do. Lady Yai is currently at Yai Publishing House in Hanamizaka, so there is no need to go all the way to the shrine. In fact, she has instructed me to have you directly meet with her there. Really? Oh, well, that's convenient enough. Let's go then. Seems like she had everything planned. 
This freaking conniving fucks, I swear. True Tales of the Violet Garden. Let's go see how Lady Yai is doing. Oh, look at all these people here. Miss Gucci Yai! Hello. Aratani and Kuroda, how are things coming along? All the books and commission prints for Yai Publishing House were bound and sent out yesterday afternoon, Lady Yai. Very good. And Murata? We have already received word from Epekusu and Sailing Breeze that the materials are all in place for Shogun Almighty Reborn as Raiden with Unlimited Power and Pretty Please Kitsune Guji. What the fuck are these fucking isekai titles? Jesus Christ, you know what? Whatever. Hmm, well done. And what about you, Onodera? <sighs> he looks disappointed. Ahem. <clears throat> Onodera? Oh, uh, yes, Lady Yai. Everything is ready for the new issue release party. Uh. You are the one who organized the plans for this release party. In other words, you are the team's fearless leader now. So please, show some confidence. Besides, there's no need to be nervous. This project is destined for success. I feel quite optimistic about it. I shall specially grant you leave for the next couple of days, Onodera. Please take the opportunity to have a good rest. After all, you will be very busy on the day of the release party. Yes, Lady Yai. Thank you very much. All right, then. Is everyone clear about their assignments? Hmm, good. We are running out of time, so let's get moving. Chop, chop. Ah, hello, little ones. I take it you have received my commission, hmm? Yeah, oh, hi, Mark. Some organizer you are! It's nearly time for the festival, and you're still over here ramping things up for your light novel business! Shouldn't you be getting back to the Grand Narukami Shrine? Paimon, can you shut your trap real quick? You weren't thinking of dumping all the festival preparations on us, were you? <sighs> if so, then you can forget it! Paimon won't accept such a commission! Wow. Paimon's so upset. I wanted to learn a little bit what of her intention of the commission was before I made that assumption. Because it just, it does sound like we're probably going to go fetch a few things, do a little bit of this and that, but are you sure about that? I, I wonder. My, my, such harsh words. It hurts to hear that kind of talk from you two. But as you can clearly see, I'm here working like a dog for the festival, yet you say I'm not doing my job. Paimon. Let me ask you, little ones, whoever said that the festival must involve the Grand Narukami Shrine? Huh? But isn't that a given? This is Inazuma after all! Hmm. Yes, that is true. But now that the Sokoku Decree has been lifted, Inazuma is no longer the same nation that once resisted change tooth and nail. Hmm. Therefore, rather than sticking to the same old traditional festival, the Yashiro Commission and I have decided to shake things up a little, this time, we'll be holding an international cultural festival, distinctly Inazuman, but with a unique twist. <laughs> I suppose I should start by telling you the origins of the Iridori Festival. Let's get it. <clears throat> Legend has it that there were five poets in ancient Inazuma who were supremely gifted in singing and writing poetry. They are known as the Five Kasan. Every year, one of the five would present a collection of the group's poems to the Shogun for review, which would then spark culture discussions regarding those works. Thanks to them, Inazuma's culture blossomed and gained great influence at that time. As time passed, people began creating various tales based on the five Kasan. The Iridori Festival was also developed as a result to show appreciation for their works, which so greatly enriched our lives. Hmm. Sounds like a festival that's really rooted in culture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would Indeed. be. Indeed. 
to describe it in the words of the ancients, it'd be refined elegance. Unfortunately, with the flow of time, people have gradually forgotten about the Five Kassen and the festival. Well, I can see why, but... Which is precisely why I've decided to revive the Iridori Festival by... Holding a cultural convention featuring light novels. <laughs> so, now I understand why Shincho would be involved in this. He's kind of famous in the light novel scheme. But, wait a minute. Light novels? But didn't we help you with that? You know, light novel thing? In your story quest? What about all the refined, elegant stuff you just said? Please stop looking at me with those baffled expressions. In ancient times, poetry was all the rage. But nowadays, the entertainment format of choice is light novels. The important thing is not the format, but the creative work itself. It is impossible to come up with anything fresh if you're stuck using some rigid format of the past. Speaking of which... Don't you think that the concept of focusing on the now perfectly suits the current Inazuma? <laughs> and besides, it's a great opportunity to reintroduce Inazuma to all to that through light novels. As they say, it's two birds with one stone. A whole lot of thinly veiled self-justification. Oh, that was close. Paimo was nearly carried away by Miko's persuasive tongue. <laughs> Come on, Miko! You can't fool us. We know you by now. This is all definitely stemming from your own personal interest. There's something personal she wants from this, obviously. <laughs> I can't deny that my hobbies had no part to play in this. However, regardless of whether it's light novels or a festival, catching people's attention with a fresh concept is the essence here. Well, what do you say? Aren't you two even a little curious about what interesting things you might see at the festival? Well, I still need more context as of how this is going to go, but yeah. Uh, maybe a little. Oh, all right, Paimon's super curious now. <laughs> Come, let's pay a visit to the venue in Rito together. I promise that it will give you a whole new perspective on the festival. There we'll meet a special someone who will tell you more about your tasks. A special someone, you say? Wonder who that would be. Oh, it's skipping right on ahead. Let's get it. I'm excited for this because ever since I saw the trailer, I'm just like, damn. I mean, we are getting close to that time where she's going to get a rerun, actually. But I wonder how things will be shaken up because of it. Oh, it just did that. Too. Okay. I'm curious. I want to see what happens. I'm almost certain things are going to shake up when we go here. Special someone? I bet you it's Shincho, isn't it? I don't know why, but something tells me it's Shincho. Something tells me it's Shincho. I don't know. Just an assumption I have. It might not even be Shincho. It could be somebody else that is familiar. But let's see. During the Iridori Festival, the area around the Outlander Affairs Agency will become the main exhibition space for light novels. Once things are in full swing, not only will there be lots of official and fan-created work on display, there will also be exclusive giveaways, prizes, and new release parties. This yeah, yeah, yeah. small plaza in front of the International Trade Association will be called the Five Kassen Plaza during the festival. And nearby shops will be selling special light novel merchandise. You certainly won't want to miss out. Wow. Um, how'd you Paimon put this? Uh, it's, it's like going like to a, a convention festival, for light novels. But it sure looks like it'll be quite the party. Huh. Uh, What's Nico, with the giant the board thing here? Boards in the center of the plaza? Yes, those are... Ah, Lady I did oh, mention that there would be some uh, reliable helpers coming to assist with the festivities. It appears she meant you two. At last we meet again, Traveler and Paimon. Tell me, how are you faring recently? What is good Ayato? Oh, it's Ayato! Wow, so even a busy guy like yourself is here to attend 
the Iridori Festival. Well, of course he Preparing don't. festivals falls under the Yashiro Commission's scope of responsibilities. Seeing as Lady Yai has poured her heart and soul into the preparations, I'm obliged to be equally dedicated. <laughs> Come now, Ayato. We're not strangers here. There's no need to sound so formal. We were just about to discuss the boards over here. They're related to our little helper's tasks, so I'll let you give them a detailed rundown. Certainly. I assume you two already know that the Iridori Festival originated from the Five Kassen. These five boards are here for painting their portraits. Painting? This Iridori Festival is not only the first major festival to be held in Inazuma since the lifting of the Sakoku Decree. It is also an event deeply rooted in culture and the arts. That explains why the certain individuals. The Yashiro Commission see, yeah. has personally invited several cultural celebrities from other nations. Oh! Example, the artist we have invited to paint these portraits hails from the distant land of Mondstadt. Which the only person the I know Yashiro that can Commission do this is Albedo. arrange Alpeda. accommodations and food in Inazuma for each of the distinguished guests. However, we fear that staying in a foreign land may feel a little uncomfortable. Which is precisely why it would be ideal to have someone familiar with both Inazuma and other nations of Tivat to serve as a guide for our guests. I, I knew you would catch on. It is our hope that you would be able to guide the guests from the harbor to their residence at the International Trade Association, while providing any necessary assistance along the way. Little does he know, he'll find out that we know every single person is coming. That would be funny. This arrival schedule includes the details of the ships on which the guests will be arriving. All you simply have to do is go to the docks at the indicated times. Indicated times, huh? Two days before the festival, second day of the festival, third day of the festival, the day of the following release event. So there's someone who's gonna come two days before. Hmm, it's settled then. My, look at the time. I have to meet with my editors, so I must be going now. So we'll only get to meet these During guys the festival, slowly throughout the, the festival. The publishing house's editors will be staying near the Outlander Affairs Agency. If you run into any problems, you may find them there. This festival requires the full cooperation of the Tri Commission, and there are still many minor details which require my attention. So I must excuse myself for now. I'll leave the guests in your hands. All the details we need about the ships are on the timetable that Ayato gave us. Ah, let's take a closer look and be sure to pick up the passengers according to the times written on it. I'm excited for this. All right. Let's get started. should be on board. The boat should be arriving soon, so let's head down to the docks. I'm expecting quite the ceremonial engagement. Look at everyone who's here, or not everyone, it's just you see right in there and then Kujiai here. I guess it's pretty fancy. Indeed. Alright. Let's get started. I know exactly what we're gonna see. I'm certain of it. Okay, no. Never mind. I'm Hello. stupid. You must be here to take part in the Iridori Festival. Never mind. I'm We're stupid. We're the festival guides, and we'll show you okay. around. So, who are you, lovely people? Yes, here? that's right. We are bards from Mondstadt. Bards? I've never seen your. Actually, no. Your face looks familiar for some reason. The word has it that Inazuma has undergone many changes of late. We hope to find fresh inspiration here. Paimon, what are you? What? These guests are all bards, aren't they? Well, where's Tonga's bard then? Oh, this is the first time you're asking that question, of course. Huh. Strange. He's pretty famous in Mondstadt. Mm, Even if he's invited, he's there's a chance he still wouldn't show up. I mean, it's kind of hard to get in touch with him. He kind of just does his own thing, doesn't he? Huh? Why is that? You know, Venti... <laughs> 
sees what you're getting at. Even though Venti no longer rules over Mindstack, he's still an Archon. Well, about that. If he came rushing to Inazuma at the first mention of a festival, not only would it seem a little childish, it would also sort of be shameless of him too. There's a little child. <laughs> Mr. Honorary Knight, Paimon! It's Klee! Were you also invited to the Iridori Festival? <laughs> no, Albedo's the one who received Would you the look at that? But because everyone in the Knights of Favonius has been really busy these days, Albedo arranged for someone here to issue me a dependent pass. A dependent. Greetings, Traveler and Paimon. After hearing that Inazuma was making preparations for the Irodori Festival, I predicted that I might run into you here. Ha! Paimon knew it! Albedo's the one they've invited to paint the five coffins! He's the only person we know that paints! Come on now, use your head. It seems that you already know why I'm here. Just so you're aware, I'll be using my pen name in Inazuma. Calx. Calx. Oh, by the way, do you know where the International Trade Association is? I'll be meeting with the editorial director of the Yai Publishing House there. Yeah, the International Trade Association is where you'll be staying in Inazuma. We'll be heading there too. Great. Let's get going then. I ain't gonna lie. This is really exciting. This type of event, you know. Being able to see Mondstadt characters in Inazuma. It's kind of nice. I know Shanks is going to be in this because if this is all about publishing and books and light novels, I think Shanks is the most famous of all of them. As for the painting thing, I mean, who doesn't know who Albedo is? Slow down, Klee. Please be careful not to bump into others. Okay. <sighs> Telling Klee so many stories about Inazuma during the trip was probably not the best idea. She's gonna do this regardless, Albedo. You should have known the task of you being a big brother to her. As a result, she could hardly sleep all the way here. It appears she's even more excited now that we've arrived. She's probably the most dangerous of all the little kids that could be excited, though. But still, then again, strange it is how it is. How kids it are. It seems that the editorial director, Mr. Hirayama, isn't here yet. I'm certain he said that he'd be sure to arrive before me. This might be a problem. What's wrong? Well, Mr. Hirayama was supposed to meet with me and give me some reference materials about the five kasen today. That way. I could better visualize the content for my paintings. You mean, you had no idea what you'd be painting before you arrived in Inazuma? Oh, there goes clear. I <laughs> only know of the five Kasen by name. Because of the sheer age of the tale, very little has been passed down to this day. So Mr. Hiroyama decided to help me collect some more information. I'm the type of painter who can complete a painting quickly as long as I'm inspired. So I agreed on only receiving the details today. So when do the paintings have to be done by? According to the festival plans, the portraits will be revealed one at a time throughout the various stages of the Irodori Festival. The first one, depicting Suiko, will need to be done before the festival's official opening ceremony, mm. which is the day after tomorrow. Right. The day after tomorrow? Then you're already running out of time! Well, this is all the more There's reason. There's no need to panic. When I was working on light novel illustrations, because the manuscripts are shipped by boat, things were always tight and finished at the last minute. Just last month, to ensure the latest book of A Legend of Sword would be finished for the Irodori Festival, Wait, I had to complete the final chapter's illustrations the same day I received the illustrations the for that book, really? I heard that oh. my illustrations were sent to print as soon as they arrived in Inazuma. I still don't know how well they turned out. Of just, course, just I would still it, prefer huh? to receive any possible reference materials in advance, so that I can be better prepared. Speaking of which, 
Miko did mention. Oh, right! The editors of the Yai Publishing House will all be around the Outlander Affairs Agency these next few days. Who knows? Maybe Mr. Hirayama's over there too! We'll take you over there to see if we can find him, Albedo. All right, it's worth a try. <clears throat> Klee, you haven't slept for a while now. Uh, please stay at our residence in the International Trade Association and get some rest. We will be back soon. Okie dokie. Don't worry, Albedo. I'll be on my best behavior. Even though I don't think Klee the cutest Chibi, I can't help but say that she's adorable. It's been a while since I've seen that type of um Once we get through spring and then into summer times in real life, I know her reruns around the corner. <sighs> this can't be happening. The moment we need to contact Onadera is when he's on special leave. <laughs> Bruh. <sighs> Kuroda and I will go back to Inazuma City for an emergency printing run. The demand for this book is so high, though. Well, there's a different the banner in the background there with two different enough. people. Despite everything, we're still lucky that we found yeah, out today. Right if this had happened a few days okay, later, okay. then we'd really be in boiling water. Ugh. Hey, do you think that suspicious guy they found in the warehouse has anything to do with this? Well, suspicious the editorial guy. director is on his way over there to investigate the situation as we speak. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but... What's going on here? Oh, hey, Traveler. Uh, don't worry. It's nothing. Just an internal issue. That's all. How can I help you? I'm looking for the editorial director, Mr. Hirayama. Does anyone know where he is now? Uh, Mr. Hirayama is currently at the warehouse down by the harbor. Oh, hold on a second, Murata. Uh, excuse me, but you must be Calx. The one who was invited to paint the five Kassen for the festival? Yes, that's me. My name is Kuroda. You must be inquiring about information regarding the five Kassen. I do apologize, but please make yourself comfortable at the International Trade Association, and I will let Mr. Hirayama know to send you the materials right away. Oh, no need. You guys look super busy, so we can go find them ourselves. Uh, well, uh... About that. Yeah, about that. <laughs> of course. Uh, excuse me, but is there something wrong with the latest volume of A Legends of Sword? Huh? How did you know? Since you were all aware that Mr. Hirayama needed to send me some supporting materials, that means the editorial director didn't forget about it. Instead, something urgent must have cropped up. To add to that, despite being aware that I am Calx, you were still unwilling to let me go to Mr. Hirayama directly. After considering these factors, the only reason you would try to stall me is if something happened to a Legend of Sword, which I did the illustrations for. Well, uh... uh I'm very sorry. The situation is just as you said, Calx. I suppose it doesn't hurt to tell you now. Earlier today, someone spotted a suspicious outlander sneaking around inside the Iridori Festival warehouse down by the docks. What so the fuck? They promptly alerted the Tenryo Commission. The Tenryo Commission was concerned about potential cargo theft, so they contacted everyone who was renting space in the warehouse. It was then that we realized that the latest copies of A Legend of Sword had suddenly gone missing. What? The books are missing? Shh, not so loud. Not only is this book an eagerly anticipated release in the last phase of the Iridori Festival, but the author, Chin Yu, will be personally attending the release party as well. Chin Yu? Because of the dire Did situation, I hear that right? Mr. Hirayama immediately hurried to the warehouse to determine whether the theft was related to that suspicious outlander. I see. It would be a great misfortune if a Legend of Sword would not be released on schedule, and quite a disappointment for Chin Yu as well. If Mr. Hirayama has gone to the warehouse at the docks, then I'll go down to see if I can be of any help. So the author of A Legend of Sword is Jeyu. Sounds familiar. Hey, isn't that Shincho's pen name? I thought it sounded familiar. Do you know him? Uh, he's a person that fights alongside me all the time, but that's beside the point. We've met one too many times. 
Shincho would definitely be upset if he discovers his books are missing. Let's accompany Albedo to the warehouse, too. I wonder in this event if there's. Uh, oh. Oh, there's a Kujo Sara right there. What the. Oh! It's Venti! Was that the suspicious person that went to the docks? How convenient is that? Looking around right now to see if anybody else stands out, but I gotta see my boy Venti. Hold up. Venti, what were you doing? I'm here on behalf of the Tenryo Commission, of course. Is that surprising? Oh, well, not exactly you. Yeah. No, Sara, Paimon wasn't talking about you! So, tone deaf bard. The suspicious outlander in the warehouse wouldn't happen to be you, would it? <laughs> <laughs> Considering the evidence, it appears that the suspicious outlander is... Indeed me. As I have told you, you are a suspect. Before your allegations of theft and illegal entry as a stowaway are cleared, you are to remain silent. Don't make me say it again. Traveler, Paimon, do you know this self-proclaimed bard from Mondstadt? Well, I can't say he's a complete stranger. Uh, I, you could say we're quite familiar. Uh, listen, Sara. Knowing him, it's safe to say that he wasn't behind the theft. But what's this about being a stowaway? That kind Although of he claims to be a special person. guest for the Iridori Festival, he's failed to present his invitation letter. Uh, Therefore, we can only Venti. suspect that he might have entered the country illegally. Venti! And just a moment ago, we caught him in a dandelion wine crate near the sailing breeze. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I can imagine someone making fan art about that. Uh... Yikes. If it would help shed any light on the situation, then please, be my guest. Oh, Fenty! You didn't really nah, there's no way he didn't come me, illegally. Did there's no way he oh, did this illegally. Your words warn me. We've been apart for so long, and the moment we meet again, all I'm greeted with is grilling questions and suspicious glares. <sighs> you arrived in Inazuma via similar means, or so I heard. You of all people should be more understanding, don't you think? Well, we had a Toma. You don't have a Toma. That's the problem. Similar means? Uh, yeah, let's not talk about how we snuck out of Rito Kujasara. <laughs> I merely jest. Fear not, for the person who sent me the invitation is none other than Kamisato Ayato of Ayato. Yashiro Commission. Really? It's unlikely he that buddy? someone acquainted with the likes of him would ever be here illegally. Right? But why weren't you on the same ship as the other birds? Seriously? Well, once I received the invitation... I'm guessing he went on a dragon. But want to come to Inazuma he came on his dragon. It was then that I happened upon a cargo ship bound for Inazuma transporting dandelion wine. He so, came with the Valen, I'm calling it. With them. Once aboard, I found the captain to be a kindred spirit. And I was treated to an abundance of fine the liquor captain. along the way. Uh, I must have fallen asleep in the cargo crate while carefully comparing the tastes of dandelion wine and Inazuman sake. And when I woke up, I found myself in this warehouse with a Tenryo Commission general glaring at me from atop the grate. Because a man got <sighs> too drunk. Venti, this story is quite believable, but it still feels a bit... Champions. Excuse me, I'm the owner of the Stolen Goods from the IA Publishing House, and there are some questions I would like to ask you. Based on what you just said, it seems you've been in the warehouse for some time now. If that's the case, did you happen to hear anything unusual? You really? Okay. Actually, I did hear some faint footsteps around me a couple of times, but I didn't consider the sound anything out of the ordinary. Hmm? But if you clearly heard something, why didn't you feel it was unusual? Oh, I seem to understand now. Huh? What did you notice, Albedo? When it comes to burglars, they are generally associated with prying or rummaging through things. 
What Venti means is that he did not hear anything unusual like that. As for the sound of footsteps, well, because this is a warehouse where many goods are coming in and out each day, it is quite normal for people to be walking around. I see. But if that's the case, then we're back to square one regarding the stolen books. No, not quite. From the facts that have been presented to us, we can draw at least three conclusions now. First, whoever took the novels is not a spur-of-the-moment burglar. They had their sights in the books from the very beginning. Second, the culprit was very familiar with the warehouse, and might even have a key. And third... There must be more than one criminal involved. I knew you'd catch on, Traveler. One person yeah, could have possibly transport so many heavy books in such a short window of time. It must have been a team effort. Mm. It goes without saying that Venti clearly does not match up with our culprits. Yes, I agree with your reasoning. Mr. Hirayama, the Tenryo Commission will continue by investigating the warehouse staff. If you come across any further clues, please notify us immediately. Yes, understood. I'll leave it to you then. <laughs> I suppose I'm free as a bird then. Not so fast. Even though we've cleared the <laughs> theft allegations, we still haven't ascertained whether your arrival in Inazuma was legal or not. Yep. Aw, tis a shame. I thought surely after my honest account you might let me off Don't the wink at me like that. Is quite the meticulous one. What the fuck, so, man? Where's your invitation letter, Venti? Uh, yes, the invitation letter. <laughs> I'm truly sorry. Uh, I can't seem to remember where I may have put it. Uh, how could you lose something so important? Don't be mistaken. I was well aware of how important it was. But I didn't bring any luggage with me, and the letter was too big to fit in my pocket. So I kept it in my hand the whole trip. Strange. Though I had a little too much to drink, I know that I kept it in a secure place. I even recall being most pleased at coming up with a good idea at the time. If you were holding the invitation in your hands the whole time, then why did you put it down? Well, to properly compare the taste of Mondstadt wine and Inazuma and sake, I had to hold a glass in each hand. What the heck? I couldn't both hold the invitation and a glass at the same time. <laughs> but surely I wouldn't put it in just any random place. It could easily be misplaced. In which case, I believe there's only one place it could be. Have you figured it out, Traveler? I have to go <laughs> back there. You're way ahead of Paimon. Do you two already know where the invitation letter is? Yeah. Oh. Do you think... Uh, do you think? Nah, that'd be funny if it was in his hat. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Ah, oh, yes! Yeah, <laughs> it would be the most now. convenient. I knew you'd help me find it. Yep, I knew it was in his hat. God damn it. Dude. This is indeed an invitation letter issued by the Yashiro Commission. Now that we've confirmed this guest's identity, I have no further questions. However, starting tonight, I would advise you to stay at the International Trade Association. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be leaving now. There goes Sara. All right, let's go talk to Mr. Hirayama about Albedo's reference materials. I had a feeling it'd be the hat. I thought it'd be back at the, uh... At the actual, you know, place where all the books are stored, but damn. Anyways, one last thing I need to do, because I'm grabbing this for later. But damn, I can't even believe that. that's crazy. It felt like the book could be a place to put it in his hat, though. Mr. Hirayama, I'm Calx. We had originally arranged to meet today. Uh, ah, yes, really. sure you are, Calx. <laughs> I'm very sorry that you've arrived in Inazuma only to find such a mess. These are the materials regarding the five Kasan. All the information that we could find is compiled here. Oh, okay. Long ago, there were five legendary poets of Inazuma, supremely gifted in music and writing, and they were honored by the five Kasan, meaning that five fairies of the singing poetry. 
It is said that the Shogun loved their words profoundly and that every year one of them would go to the Tenshukaku and present their new poetry collection for the Shogun's perusal. The five Kasen are known as the Su Suiko, Uedo Ukina, Akahito, Sumizume, Zome, Sumizume, and the Kur Kuronushi. Okay, I didn't think it would be like this. Suiko, Uedo Ukina, Akito, Sumizume, Zome, right, and Kuronushi respectively but their real names were lost in history according to a widely accepted theory the tales of the five costumes had once been repeatedly adapted to perform on stage with the five catches each dressed with a distinct color green blue red white and black over time theater goers started referring to them by these colors hence the names we see today still there exist other theories, for instance, some believe Suiko was named after his dwelling a thatched cottage called Suiko Hut. Some also say that Aka and Akahito was derived from the poet's habit of marking his words with a scarlet red seal. Huh. About the tale of the five and everyone in Azuma knows the tale of the five cousins and the story is referring to them. All the raging Inazuma. Unfortunately, however, despite their popularity and abundance at the time, not much detail survived till today. Most were probably lost during the Great Calamity 500 years ago. According to the existence of literature, during the Gold Age, when many such stories were being created, they, they usually followed the same set of rules for poems in succession, each telling of a fragment of the story from a cousin's point of view. With the four together completing the whole tale what was the curious what was curious was that no single chapter had seemed to be narrated from the Koronoshi's perspective <laughs> five costumes summary soiko a free sake loving soul born in an ordinary family some say he was the name soiko from soiko hut that's because it's a living no Kina, an old man accomplished in chess. In addition to poems, he has also left behind a few novels. Some say he was actually a shogunate official who had not made a name until his senior years. Others say he was not a human, but a very old kitsune in a human form. Akihito, the talented swordsman, who most likely came from a martial arts family. Some say his name was derived from his habit of marking his works with the scarlet red seal. Sumizome, she was once a shrine maiden skilled in the floral arts and dancing. Later, she became the Shogun's personal attendant. Some say she's resigned from her position after she became famous and devoted herself to artistic creation. Others say that she kept serving the Shogun into her old age. Kuronushi, little is known about him, nor does anyone know who he really is. Maybe his explanations that explains the more varied ver versions of, the, of his identity and personality from the story to story as compared to the other four Kassin. So he's the most sus. What the hell? <laughs> I've probably done the same too because it's the second place to put other things other than a crossbody then. <laughs> What the fuck? I mean, yeah. Oh, let's see here. Yes, yeah, it's I'm just as I expected. Moniker suggests Suiko and Aoi no Okina aren't the real names of the five Kasen. Wait, what? Though there were once many ah, stories right, regarding right, each right. of the five Kasen, they didn't really know. the validity of their contents can no longer be verified in present times. Alas, what a shame. Because they were slowly forgotten over time. But at the very least, we know that most of the stories were written according to a similar style. So there is still something we may glean from this. So, is the info useful for your paintings, Albedo? To some extent, yes. Uh, however, I must admit that it is still lacking and uh, fails to fulfill the most crucial element. Inspiration. Yeah, you need that. I am that. sorry that this information is not as exhaustive as you had hoped. However, it is not possible to gather anything more at the moment. 
really. Though Lady Yai did say that there are many variations of the story about the five Kasen, and everyone has a different story in their heart. Mm. So all you need to do is follow through with what's in your own heart and create something that you yourself find interesting. Mm. That does sound like something Miko would say. Of course she would. Thank you, Mr. Hirayama. No need to worry. I'll find inspiration for the portraits. Great. I'll leave it to you then, Calx. Oh, and there's one more thing I need to ask of everyone. Tomorrow morning, Mr. Gen Yu, the author of A Legend of Sword, ah. will be arriving in Inazuma by boat. If you see him, please do not mention the stolen novels for the time being. Oh yeah, Shinto will be pissed about that. Whether the stolen books are eventually recovered or not, the Yaya Publishing House will do its best to ensure that the novel's release is a success. I just, uh... You have my gratitude. I'll be going then. Nothing more we can do here. Let's go. Huh? Fenty? Fenty? What are you doing over there? You don't want us to leave you behind, do you? Traveler, Albedo, would you mind coming over here for a moment? There's something peculiar that I think you should see. Are they Venti fine? A piece of paper? Indeed. When I awakened to find myself in the warehouse this morning, I discovered this paper in the cargo crate where I was sleeping. <laughs> I didn't think much of it then. I thought it was merely a scrap piece of paper that had fallen into the cargo. After a quick glance, I stuffed it into a place nearby. But on second thought, I think it's worth having you take a look at what's written on it. Really? Five Cos and Splendor Suica. Mine dwelling was far from the wider world, but for my fame, my peace was disturbed. The blue clad, I went before Tenshukaku to present our word, but Oi's work was missing a page. I knelt and begged for divine wrath to be stilled, and I told what I knew of how it was lost. The previous night, I had been drunk, and then a person's shadow had passed over me. Some treacherous scoundrel must have stolen the poem, leading to my great loss of face. Let me see. Suiko chapter. Wait a minute. Isn't Suiko the name of one of the five Kasen? The story told in this poem roughly boils down to Suiko getting tipsy and letting some poems that were meant for the Shogun get stolen. Ah, this story sounds familiar to my ear. Where have I heard it? Seriously? It's literally the same story you just experienced yesterday! Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, indeed it is. Interesting, isn't it? It does sound really familiar. That makes me wonder if him and the Shogun are really acquainted or not, but yeah, that's another topic. Yes, I concur. The person who left this paper could quite possibly be the criminal, or even a witness to the theft. But... Why leave the paper here in such a fashion? And if the one who left it here was a witness, why didn't they attempt to stop the burglary? Right. All right, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Meeting together in Inazuma like this is a most rare occasion. Since we've been busy from the start of the day, let us find an inn with good drink to keep our thirst at bay. Oh, this guy hey, rhyming now. Just sure. sobered up and you're already thinking about more drinks? Uh, and let's not forget that Albedo still has a portrait to complete. We don't have time to be slacking off. No, it's fine. Let's all go for a drink together. It'll be my treat. Wait a minute. What about your portrait? He still has time. As but... I mentioned before, I'm the kind of artist who can work quickly once I'm inspired. And now, it seems I've found my source of inspiration. Ah, I a see. reference for the piece. We must pay him back with the appropriate recompense. <laughs> In that case, we'll need to order more dishes. Oh boy. One year, the poet Suiko made his way to Tenshukaku and presented the Kasen's work for the Shogun's perusal. But a page really? from the works of Aoi no Okina had been torn out. 
and Suiko was questioned regarding the matter. Suiko pleaded guilty. He admitted to drinking at the tavern the night before, and vaguely recalled a mysterious figure approaching while he was intoxicated. Bruh. 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 Wow. Uh, hold on a sec. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Uh, yeah. Press the wrong button. But still, also wanted to save the clip. But, wow. That looks dope. So, Venti, I'm guessing, fits the story very well to some extent. Or maybe this was him. As it seems to be. We were able to complete the first portrait before the opening ceremony. So, this is what Albedo picked out. Yes, it really is a sight to behold. Not only does it harken to the traditional style of Inazuma, but it also makes use of modern aesthetics. My figure is particularly striking. Even though I'm sound asleep in the portrait, I still appear as glorious as always. Really? Hey, don't get too full of yourself, Tone Deaf Bard. You were just a model. The person in the artwork isn't actually you. Well, I can't say it isn't him, can we? Well, Albedo, who will be your next portrait? The next one will be Aoi no Okina of the Five Kasen. Mm. Albedo, might I suggest waiting a little before starting on the next one? Who knows? You might soon discover another story. Another story? I Do believe you think... he's referring to the possibility of finding another paper with tales of the Five Kasen. According to the reference materials I was given, we've only found the first of a total of four chapters. Do you think that this story might resemble Albedo possibly drawing and illustrating the other characters upon the five Kasen? So all of these are going to be characters that, you know, we are able to play as. But who else would be amongst this story? Who would else fit this story? Well, we'll see. Do you think the mysterious Probably person who take the first days, paper right? will strike again? That certainly is a possibility. Also, uh, there are some points regarding the stories of the five Kasen that have left me rather curious. For example, the reference materials make mention of five legendary figures, yet all the popular stories only consist of four parts. It appears that throughout all the stories, there is never a chapter dedicated to Kuronushi. Yeah, yes. there's nothing on I'm him. I'm also curious about these stories myself. But who knows? They may merely be akin to the old saying in Mondstadt. Seeds of stories brought by the wind and cultivated by time. So for now, we need but just wait patiently. I guess that's where the first part ends. Do you think there are going to be five story quests for this event then? Hmm. I feel like that's a bit far fetched for me to say. But, Magnificent Oratory Festival begins. Theater Mechanicus? Complete what the blue f what the blue flowers left behind. Complete a new painting, pale scarlet. A paint, new painting, pale scarlet. The moon and stars inscribe. So you could just look at it like that. Huh. Territory of poetry. Huh. Okay. Alright, give me a sec again. I'm gonna have to check all this later. There's something else I wanna grab from that. I hate to do that too many times though. Let's see, he was used as a model for his work, show that Suko prone after getting dead drunk. It also incorporates some unique fashion features from Monstat. Menti seems to love this picture very much, and a certain someone has had has had to remind him several times that he's not actually in the picture. I mean, it looks just like him. You can't really say it isn't him. It works perfectly. And other people are moving. Aha. 
cool, cool, cool. Is there anything I need to watch out for throughout this event, though? I guess there is the free Shincho during this event, which seems convenient. It sucks that I have a C6 Shincho, though. But my C5 Shincho is around the horizon on my free to play account. Whenever I get around to doing this event on my other account, too. But two more days for that one for six more days in the Iridori Anecdotes. Did that mean they're going to be... I fucking knew it. This is going to be a long story quest event. This is better than Lancer, right? That's actually something I can't believe I'm about to say. This event's going to have four different streams. At the very least, part two... I was worried. That's why I had to stream today. So this weekend on Saturday... So I will be streaming something else tomorrow then. Ah, it sucks kind of delaying so much shit, but I want to do it, do something tomorrow. Because, yeah. I started planning to do something Friday. So, we have a story quest Saturday. And then after Saturday... There's going to be one on Monday? What? No, 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 no. That's going to... Jesus Christy, okay. It looks like there's gonna be, if my assumption is right, this is gonna be Saturday, which I already, I already know how the 24 hour clock works in this game, so when they say one day left, it's 24 hours. Or I should say 48 hours, because it had to actually say the hours remaining, so it's actually two days left. This is four days, and if we have four more days left, this will be next week on Monday. Then this one, Five days left. Should be actually six days. So this will be next week on Wednesday. I don't know how to feel about that. Well, either way. There's something else here. Today, me, Albedo, arrived in a country where there's lots and lots of thunder. Albedo said this place is called Inazuma. Inazuma Klee thinks the name is pretty hard to write. So this looks like a little story right here. This one here. It's going to start automatically, so let's just start it. It's a little story course. What a coincidence. I was wondering where I might be able to find you, and here you are. So I'm guessing it's a little story quest with these folks again. What is up? Yes, indeed. I believe Klee has missed you tremendously. Are you kidding me? I'll give her a hug if she wants me to. All right. As much as I'd like to sit and chat with you, this time I'm here mainly for Klee. Really? Before bringing Klee here, I told her many stories about Oh, there's Klee over there. It got her very excited to experience the local culture here. However... I've got other things to do in Inazuma this time, besides painting the portraits of the five Kasen. Over the next couple of days, I won't have the time to show her around. Uh, Inazuma is not like Mondstadt. I can't just let Klee wander off by herself when I'm busy with other things. So I had to have her stay at the International Trade Association while I finish my work. She hasn't complained, but... I can tell she's not enjoying being stuck there on her own. Fortunately, I now have you and Paimon. So, uh... The Tales of Clear are going to hit a new unfortunate seriousness of interestingness, right? So we're going to have Clee wander about, and then we might run into, I don't know, a certain individual. Yay, Mr. Honorary Knight's here! What you talking about, Mr. Honorary Knight? Are we gonna go play? Clear, are you saying you'd like to go and play? I know the perfect person for you! You know, instead of throwing a flask pain grenade, what the fuck, dude? Uh, let's, let's, let's spice it up with a little bit of fireworks, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah! Um, I know the right person I to show you, actually. Busy. I can't go too far away, or he'll be worried about me. There is a perfect person I would like you to meet. Aw, Klee, you're such a thoughtful kid. <laughs> Unlike you, Paimon. Okay. All right, Ether. All right. Ether. All right. Oh, Paimon's very thoughtful, thank you very much. Paimon always thinks of you whenever she's eating a delicious slime. 
A slime? Hey, you're very thoughtful. The thoughtful anyway, food. It is pretty cruel not to let Cree go out when she was so excited to come here. Yeah, we're gonna have to make it daytime first, but yes. Yep, yep. Allow the almighty traveler and dependable Paimon to bring <laughs> Without the intention of her name, I would like for her to meet her, because that's what I would want. The tales of what people have made from memes and fan art. I would like to introduce you to somebody. Kui, do you want to go play with Mr. Honorary Knight? Yay! You bet I do! As you know, Klee is our spark knight. You must keep her safe and sound. <sighs> I get it, man. We got it. We got it. <clears throat> By which I mean, uh... <clears throat> try to keep her out of trouble. Okay, no promises on that one. Um, I'll keep her out of as much trouble as I can muster, but if someone else gets involved with it, I'm going to just say it's not my fault. For instance, if a mountain in Inazuma was to lose one of its peaks, or if there were an explosion somewhere in the city, Klee could very well get in trouble. Yeah, you hear that, Klee? You know, all the memes just love saying that Klee's going to blow up Inazuma. It would be so funny just to see that, though. But I know it's just a meme at the end of the day. But everyone wants to see something crazy like that happen. Glad to hear it. <laughs> I promise I'll bring you back an awesome souvenir, Mr. Albedo. Great. I look forward to it. There are loads of cool things to do in Inazuma. Try the local cuisine, visit a shrine. What do you want to do, Klee? Cuisine? What's that? She doesn't know what food is. You know, food and drink. I mean, just meant we could take you to a local restaurant. A restaurant? Yay! Snack time! Mm -hmm. Got it! All right, snack time it is! Let's go! Alright, snack time. Okay. So before we continue on, let's make it daytime. So this event is probably going to be my most favorite event they've ever added to Genshin, it seems like. Like, in terms of story, this quest event has probably the most amount of story I've ever seen for an event. Let me just, let me just see this again. So we have one, two, three, four of the main story of the event. Then we have the anecdotes, which is a side story or a story quest. One, two, three, four. Mm, I can't wait. It seems like we get one of each every single day. I would like to pressure this another time, but I think this first one is conveniently. Oh, I heard lighting fires is strictly prohibited in both Rito and Inazuma during the Irodori festival. Please keep a close watch on her. Klee's already run off. You'd better catch up with her. I know exactly where we're going. I am so excited for this. I... I... Like... We're gonna go chill out, and then we're gonna run into somebody special, you know? All I've been looking forward to is from the memes I've seen between Yoimiya and Klee. I kept thinking, them together, because Yoimiya can be kind of irresponsible at times, because she just loves blowing shit up with fireworks. Well, Klee the only spark that I think would inspire... Going me to make an explosive firework. I'm just saying, I can't see that not happening. Wow, something smells so good. I think it's coming from the steaming thingy. The steaming thingy. <laughs> Ramen, actually. Well, she doesn't know what it's called. You don't have to say it like that. Oh. So, um, what are those yellow and red thingies on 
that plate. You're kidding, right? Those are tri flavored skewers. This kid is imposing a little too harshly, I'm gonna be honest. Mm, and what about this little yellow cake? That's an egg. That's an egg room, yeah. They're amazing. Have you really not tried one before? Mm -mm. Wow. Tonkotsu ramen, tri flavored skewers, and egg rolls. <laughs> they all sound delicious. Yep. <laughs> they sure are. Guess you're not from around here if you haven't tried any of these before. Let me buy you an egg roll with my allowance so you can get a taste of our Inazuman food. I mean, I was gonna buy for her, but I guess not. Really? But Master Jean said I shouldn't go taking other people's things. Also, that's your allowance, right? Taking another kid's allowance just seems kind of wrong. I can literally cook them myself. Oh, I remember you. You're your Mia's friend. Oh, you're the. How come you ah. make egg rolls? How come? Cause I'm an adventurer. Boken the Boken, my boy. Egg rolls are a piece of cake for this guy. Why don't you make some for Kree and Iwo? I'll tell you in as well. Really? Wait, that sounded wrong. <laughs> What? Wait, so she knows she's emergency food. Wait a minute. Alright, we'll be waiting on those egg rolls. Quick. Uh, three delicious egg rolls. Mr. Honorary Knight, what do egg rolls taste like? Alright, before I do that, let me. Can I talk to I. I. I, I will. Hey, Mr. Do you really know how if you're not confident in your cooking skills, you No. <laughs> no. Mr. Honorary Knight, what do egg I got you. Here we go. Wow. You hey, really can't I'm probably cook. butchering your name. You're well awesome, yeah. Mister. It's alright. Let's see how this supposed to know. <laughs> So yummy. <clears throat> yep, yep. It's delicious. Traveler, you are the best. Can you not say it like that? Yeah, these egg rolls are pretty good, but I still think Yoimiya's are better. Hmm. <laughs> really? Hmm? Who is Yoimiya? She makes egg rolls too? Should I say she's a superhero? Should I say that? I'm gonna say that. Yoimiya can do anything. She tells stories, keeps goldfish, makes fireworks, and gives us candy, too. Yoimiya's pretty much the best and most awesome person ever. For me, the best, most awesome person in the world is my mom. And Klee knows loads of other great people, too. Like Mr. Albedo, Mr. Honorary Knight, Master Jean, Kaya. Uh, Kaya. Uh, Surely she's not going to name everyone she knows. She probably oh, won. Well, I don't know any of those people. But anyways, I still want to introduce you to Yoimiya. If you want, I'll take you to find her. Okay. In most festivals, Yoimiya's so busy that you can never find her. But this festival's different. She has free time, so she can play with us. She seems like she hasn't been in a great mood recently. But maybe seeing you will cheer her up. I mean, I think she's going to be happy to see the traveler more than anything. The last time we saw her was, what, beginning of Inazuma? When we had so much to do with the questing and whatnot? Okay, let's go play with you and Mia. It was very interesting back then. Yeah, you and Mia. <laughs> I'm kind of excited for this. Are we going to see her deaf father again? I wonder about that. Hey, I see a Yui Mia. I think she'll be happy to see the travel. I think that would perk her up just as fast as Cleveland, but that's just me. I'm not saying I have any intention of what I think she'd like to travel or not, but I beg to differ. Yui Mia, don't be sad. Um. Maybe she just needs a little bit of boom. 
in her diet, you know what I mean? Yesterday, I won three beetle fights in a row against that guy with the horns on his head. Wow, Matsuzaka, nice work. It's not easy to beat Ito. Oh, he was talking about that Ito, the Oni, Don't the worry, one and Oni. Maybe you can't light fireworks during the Iridori Festival, but there are still lots of other fun things to do. I know. <sighs> Thanks, you guys. It's just that fireworks are banned in the city for a few days. Oh. Really? Nah, I can see why she's My down man, now because of me. that. Hello, hello, hello. It's been a while. I want to introduce you to a new friend. An Outlander girl. I just met her. Wait, what's your name again? <laughs> Klee. My name is Klee. Nice to meet you, Klee. I'm Yuimiya, and I run Naganahara Fireworks. Um, <laughs> hello. I love the cute outfit, with the hat and the cool little symbols. So unique. And your backpack. Wow, it's really well made. Yep. That's a four-leaf clover. Mom and Master Jean said it can bring you good luck. Really? That's awesome! I bet everyone would love one of those. Also, that little fairy on your backpack is super cute, too. Fairy? <laughs> That's Dodoko, my best friend. We always go <laughs> fish blasting together in South Lake. Fish blasting? <laughs> Dodoko? What an interesting name. I really like it. Yep. My mom says that I can see they're getting along pretty well. It rides the wind and goes off on a big adventure. <laughs> Ride the wind and go off on a big adventure? Klee, your mom sounds like a very cool person. I see. Yep. My mom is the best and most awesome person ever. And you and Mia, Iwao was right. You're a really cool person, too. <laughs> Thanks, Glee. I feel like we really get each other. We'll be great friends. I'm sure of it. Oh, uh, Pyro Resonance, it's if you know what I'm saying. I mean, watching these two chat away. Hey, d keep the spells to yourself just a little bit. I, I feel like something may spark, if you know what I'm saying. Hey, Glee. Since you like Borley Clover so much, why don't I make a firework with a four-leaf clover pattern and set it off for you? <gasps> yeah! Ah, I and see. after the fireworks, we can go fish blasting with Dodoko! Yeah, about that. Uh, hold on a second. Fish blasting? <laughs> no way! Albedo was pretty clear about that! Yeah, please. But, you know, it would be funny to watch that. Oh, oops. I get so excited that I completely forgot about that. The folks from the Yashiro Commission specifically warned me that no fireworks are allowed in Inazuma during the Iridori Festival. What? It's not allowed? But... Aww. <sighs> okay, then. Hey, come on! You just made a new friend! This is a happy occasion! Why are you suddenly so upset? Because you know this girl by now, she wants to just explode something. Yeah, we still have loads of things we can do. We can uh, check things out. Right, just like Saika said, there are lots of fun things to do. I guess. What do you say, Klee? Sounds like the Iridori Festival could be a real blast. <laughs> okay then, let's go! All right, where the heck are we going? We're we going back all the way over here to Rito. <laughs> God damn. I'm, if I'm really close with my friends and sibling, I can talk for at least a few hours on and off of one topic. Yeah, I can too. It's just funny to say that because usually I'm the one who's not really that talkative. But when I get going, I can get going. Look at all these stalls. It looks super fun, doesn't it? I mean, it does, maybe. Outlander Brigade. When the wind of death 
blue towards the blonde samurai? Oh, what a long name. Must be a new one. I've never heard of it. I hate to break it to you, that sounds like I'm involved in that. By Kawabonga Iggy. <laughs> no! No, 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 no. Is that Ito's pen? That has to be Ito. No, nah, that has to be Ito. Only Ito would come up with a name like that. Oh my god. Kawabunga Icky. <laughs> Who's this Kawabunga? <laughs> Kayabuki Ike. Damn it. That would be me. Damn it. Damn it. I was hoping that'd be Ito. That'd be so funny if Ito had a book and it name with Kawabunga Icky. <laughs> Outlander Brigade is a new series of mine. And when the wind of death blew towards the blonde samurai is the first volume. Mm, Outlander's Brigade? Um, is it a story about the best of friends? Oh, for goodness sake. Kaya says that every good story has to have best friends in it. Oh, Kaya said that to you? Huh. Absolutely not. I would never allow such cliches in one of my novels. Well, you don't have to say it like that, mate. This is a book about betrayal, blood, and tears. A long and lonely struggle. A stubborn samurai's path to the truth. This is the kind of story that needs to be told. Now that I hear that clearly, there was someone else that was blonde, and I think it was more or less... The first thing I think about was the friend of Kazuha. The guy that got cut down by the Shogun. You know, got yeeted, lost his vision... Yeah, I still remember that whole story. Oh, is that right? Well, I'm not sure that's a very, uh, suitable story for Klee. Um, we might keep looking around. <laughs> Kawabunga, hey, Icky, I'll see you don't later. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want a copy? I'll give you 40% off. 40% <laughs> off. Ooh, I'm walking with a couple. What up, uh... going on over here flowers for princess fischl oh look it's fischl's story wait fischl made a novel that tuning made a novel you know it's not surprising she has quite the vocabulary but still would it even be possible to read this that's right flowers for princess fischl have you read this book before Clee? <laughs> no but i know fischl's story Fischl always hangs out with Oz. Maybe it's Everyone a different story, Fischl, but I could have sworn. Knows. It's just like how it me and Dodoko are always together. Hmm. I wonder if Dodoko is getting bored now. Oh. Oh, Klee, I'm afraid it can't be helped. There are a lot of flammable items at the festival, and we have to be careful not to start a fire. Darn. It seems like even the Iridori Festival can't cheer Klee and you and me up. Hmm. They need explosion. They need boom. There are things you can do with Dodoko besides lighting fireworks and going fish blasting. They need the boom. They need the boom. Yeah, like, um, I... Uh, you're gonna ask me for help, aren't you? Uh, what about painting? Wait, so that's what you're suggesting? Iridori Festival is a perfect occasion for storytelling. That's right! The Iridori Festival is a place for putting your work on display. You could show Dodoko's story for everyone here! Maybe you could share our little adventure from the Golden Apple Archipelago, if she remembers that clearly. Bingo! What do you think of that idea, Klee? Mm, Mr. Albedo taught me how to paint. I can paint the story of Dodoko's adventure in Inazuma. Hmm. That's very imaginative. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> we could even put the finished story on display at the festival. Amiya seems pretty happy. Great! Dodoko will be so happy. Perfect. Okay, so I have some paper, paintbrushes, and paint at the shop. Let's go to the shop and paint your story there. <laughs> Yay! Let's go, let's go! Motivated. We better catch up. 
run so fast. You could only teleport. You didn't know where you could go that fast back over here. Come on, man. Nah, them late ain't gonna get you there before I do. Uh. They walk away, but then they just... What is that? <laughs> yeah, they run so fast. Let me just... Out of there. And then... Yeah. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. This is a lot that I've ever... Like, it's been a while since I've streamed... Well, I wouldn't say appropriately like this. I mean, at least I kind of planned this out. I found out a day ahead of time. Ah, it kind of screwed me over, but we out here. We got all this story going on. This is a very exciting event for sure. Clay and I just had a discussion, and we've decided. Uh, what happened? We are gonna keep the content of the story a secret from you guys for now. Ha. Huh? Why? <laughs> Obviously, I can't tell you why. Or, <clears throat> you'll see. Don't worry. I didn't think you'd be keeping a secret from us. There is something of the contents of the story about us, isn't it? You can keep exploring the festival while we're busy in the shop. We'll be here when you get back. I see. Come on, Mia. We should get going. Let's go inside and start painting. At least your me is, you know, perked up, right? Aww, I knew that they would kind of resonate. It's kind of convenient so and cute. <laughs> Actually, Paimon's got an idea. Come on, let's go around to the windows and take a sneaky peek. Okay, no, I'm not doing that. Are we actually going to do that? Oh my. Okay. This is like one of those stories in a sec out. It's like, hey, let's go sneak a peek on the girls while they're in their own freaking sun or whatever. And then you have that one guy that's going to be like, yeah, I'm going to peer my entire face through the damn wall like a retard. Well, you can just listen, I guess. So, what does Dodoko do after getting to Inazuma? Dodoko goes to eat tri flavored skewers. Tonkatsu ramen and egg rolls. Ooh, that sounds great! Is that what you're painting? It looks beautiful! It does. Once you're done painting, let's go get it printed. We'll print a whole bunch of copies and go hand them out at the festival. Yeah, don't hear the rock explode. Um, although it'll cost a lot of more to get it printed. Uh, let me see if I've got enough saved up. It's okay, Yoimiya. I have some more. Look! Uh, 50 more is... Probably not quite enough. Who gave her only 50 more, bruh? Well, if we don't have enough, we can ask the traveler for ideas. <sighs> of course. Mr. Honorary Knight has helped a lot already. I don't want to trouble him. I'm not saying anything to sound wrong by having being relied upon like that, but it's just funny to me. So, I think I should just go fish blasting to Earth. Oh my freaking god. I freaking knew she'd do this without us knowing. It's just, it's a given. She's gonna go boom on something mm. eventually. No fish blasting. Paimon and the Traveler said so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, then we've got no choice. We'll have to go see Mr. Albedo. Who's Mr. Albedo? He's my older brother. He's super duper smart. He can do everything. Thing. And he knows how to paint, too. He paints Hilly Charles, Kaya, and even Dodoko. That's why he came to Inazuma this time, to do paintings for everyone. I think oh, they have their right? whole body well, visible to see. Be an artist working with the Eye Publishing House. An artist? Oh, that means he has two jobs. One as an alchemist, Teaching Alchem Sucrose alchemy, and the other as an artist, doing paintings for people. Yoimiya, let me show you something. Mr. Albedo taught me you can paint Dodoko's color like this. Wow, I can see the resemblance. All right, 
I'll paint the streets, and Klee, you fill in Dodoko's colors. Hey, you can even write the story over here to explain what's happening in the painting. Okay, let's write this. Oh. How long are we going to keep listening in? Shoot! I might didn't hear the last part. A while later. Dodoko sure had a lot of fun in Inazuma. Those two sound like they really did go on an adventure with Dodoko. They couldn't be happier. Now, we have to get Dodoko's story printed. Come on, let's go to the Yai Publishing House. Alchemist, but whatever, she's just a kid. The Alchemist, right? <laughs> Alchemist. Uh, I love it. Yeah, yeah, a plug was in hell. I wonder if Goro's name is going to be mentioned. His, uh, I guess, I can't really call it a pen name, could I? His other name that people viewed him as. Here we are. This is the Yai Publishing House. I wonder if Goro will be during this event. Yai Publishing House. Ooh, it's Auntie Aratani. I know Auntie Aratani. Huh? They've met? before <laughs> auntie <laughs> who's that calling me auntie oh it's the little girl who came with mr calx how can i help you little girl auntie aratani can you help me get dodoko's story printed so that everybody can see it dodoko oh so you've been writing a story huh is dodoko the main character not only that dodoko is also real Look! Dodoko is on her backpack. Uh huh? I don't quite understand. Well, the funny part is, even though there's literally a catalyst weapon that is a literal book you would think would have a story, it's literally called Dodoko Tales. You would think it would be kind of a convenient way to spark the story as well. Better explain this to her. The Dodoko thing is going to be hard to explain, huh? See? Oh, I'd love to help you make this wish come true, but I'm sorry. Oh no. The deadline has passed for accepting printing orders for the Iridori Festival. Oh, what? Auntie, are you saying Dodoko won't be able to meet everyone after all? Oh. oh I'm sorry, little girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Klee, don't be upset. You still have me and the Traveler. We'll think of something. Right. Um, Miss Aratani, is there any way at all we can still get this printed? We can pay extra. And if you're short on staff to help with the printing, I can pitch in. Uh, Miss Yoimiya, I understand your sentiment, but I'm afraid it's not as simple as that. We've been printing many people's personal works for this festival. And a lot of the books are already well behind schedule. The printing press is already working overtime to try and catch up. At a time like this, we really can't squeeze any more jobs in. What do we do? Mm. Seems like we might have to give up on this idea. That's unfortunate. No, I won't let that happen. I remember this one time when I was little. Pop said he'd take me to the festival, but he was so busy with work that... He forgot all about it. I waited and waited and kept wondering when Pops was finally going to take me there. Eventually, people started coming home from the festival. That Aww. night, I cried miserably. Uh, to this day, I still remember how sad I felt. I don't want Clee to feel the same way. If we can't get it printed, then we'll just have to find our own way. I can paint. Over the next few days, I'll paint as many as I can. Then, we'll take those to the festival. Bully Yoimiya. McGuire. Yoimiya has quite a oh, hello, everybody. I like it very much. I didn't expect to see Miss Yai here and uh, Albedo Cross. It's Miko and Albedo, too. We heard everything. Oh, Lady Yai. It's okay, I know. You were just following the rules. Plus, we really are quite behind schedule with the printing. But our mission at Yai Publishing House is to bring dreams and happiness to the masses. 
don't it mind the ringing. It would be a shame if we couldn't even help one adorable little girl fulfill her wish. God damn it. Let me think. Oh, I know. Yoimiya, little girl. You I can wish print you your book, ringing, but on one condition. Okay? okay. Let me guess. I'm going to be course, involved uh, in this somehow. Whatever this condition is, I am ready to face it. Dear me, it's nothing that horrendous. You make it sound like I'm some sort of wicked witch. I mean, you kind of are, All to I some extent. Is, if you want to get your work printed now, there is only one way. You have to combine it with another print. However, there is only a small amount of space remaining in the book in question. Your book is too big, so you have to reduce it to about half the size to make it fit. Is this a sacrifice that you're willing to make? Hmm. Kui, Lady Guji is saying that we can print the book if we shrink it to half the size. Are you okay with that? Yep, I am! Thanks, Miss Guji Lady! <laughs> the Guji Lady! <laughs> what an adorable little girl! Well, that settles it. Aratani, make sure it gets printed with tonight's batch. Yes, Lady I. I'll get right on it. Oh, well, Albedo, what, what's going on? Combining the prints is a plausible solution, but it'll cause a lot of extra work for the printing press. I am terribly sorry about that. No problem. Just think of it as my greeting gift for little Klee. Besides, the Yai Publishing House will need your help with the illustrations again next time, Mr. Calx. You could also consider it as my investment in you. Hmm? All right, I won't disturb you two any longer. Bye bye now. Yay! Everything worked out perfectly. Now, we just need to wait for an update from the Yai Publishing House. Yoimiya, traveler. Thank you for keeping Klee so exceptionally well entertained for me. <laughs> no worries. You should spend some time with Klee too, Albedo. Yes, you're right. Klee is family, after all. Wait for the printing to finish. The next day? 14 to 1600? Go here. Let's check in how long I've been streaming for. Uh, it's probably been like four or five hours now. Something like that. Over here. Yep, five hours. Oh boy. <sighs> Go to the festival site. Probably gonna do a refresh soon, and then we'll do artifact grinding to end the stream off afterward. Since I'm not gonna stream tomorrow, I can stream on Saturday. Well, I'm not gonna stream Genshin tomorrow. I'll be streaming Genshin Saturday. Well, I'm gonna say yes. Since we got another Eerie Festival to catch up on, this is gonna be a nice event. I've been thinking about saving these side story events for. A different stream which would be more convenient for me look mr honorary knight auntie aratani brought us donoko's story mm -hmm. now we can finally see what secrets klee and yoimiya were keeping from us oh it's really nothing that exciting it's the story of Donoko and me. And me. And me. And you guys. Yeah, I kind of figured we were in the story, but... Why put me and Paimon in the story? Okay, let's read this. Okay. Why well, start brain juice out? Okay, I am so get a little tuckered out. All Donokos must someday ride the wind and the waves and go on an adventure. A gentle, beautiful mother once said that 
And just as she had predicted, Doroko was happy when its best friend Klee said that she's going to the Nation of Lightning for an adventure. Of course, Doroko loves eating delicious food with Klee at Good Hunter. She also loves listening to the bards sing. But Doroko loves counting the stars in the sky, twisting flowers into the garlands together with Klee more. After all, all Dorokos long to ride the wind and waves on an adventure. Oh, wait. To get to Inazuma, one needs to pass through the wind's wild wind and pass over the great waves. But Doroko did not fear the howling wind, for that was the blessing of the animal Archon. Doroko did not worry about rolling the waves either, for it was very brave. Of course, Doroko didn't want Klee to have a brave. Uh, to have. To, I'm not, I cannot speak. Of course, Doroko didn't want Klee to have to brave such dangers. Why would you phrase it like that? That's why it kept confusing me. I kept wanting to read it differently. But as best as friends. They were bound to protect each other, and Doroko didn't want to be apart from Klee anyway. Without Klee, adventures would be like sweet flowers that cannot bloom lo uh, lonely and sad things. Even if Doroko were to cover every inch of Tevent by land or sea, it would be meaningless. So there was no point hesitating. Doroko and its best friend Klee were off on an adventure. If they rode on a boat, they wouldn't be able to fly freely in the sky or swim happily in the sea. But they'd have Clay's smile and Albedo's stories, and that was a good trade. Okay. In Inazuma, the nation, uh, the nation of lightning, the flowers and the grasses are all purple. The fish and birds are also purple. Everything is purple. Albedo would probably run out of purple paint trying to paint it all. Fortunately, he couldn't be around to draw with Klee and Dodoko. Albedo was an adult after all, and sometimes adults had to do adult things. Fortunately, Dodoko still had Klee. Klee would often have, find happy things to do. As long as Dodoko was with Klee, Dodoko would never be bored. Klee also had lots of friends in Inazuma, like Mr. Honore, Knight, Paimon, and Yoimiya. And so they all joined Dodoko for the most fun adventure ever in Inazuma. Hooray for adventure! <laughs> Mr. Honorary Knight in Klee, yeah, yeah. Mr. Honorary Knight took Dodoko up the tall, tall Mount Yogo when they got to the Sacred Sakura. They were so tired from all that climbing that they fell asleep. When they woke up, everyone had grown wings like a Tengu. Klee's wings were red, Yoimiya's was gold, Mr. Iron Knight's were blue. Why was ours blue? It would have made sense if we were white. I'm just saying for a reason. There's a reason behind it. Anyways, as for Paimon, Paimon can fly without wings, so Paimon didn't grow any. <laughs> Everyone opened their wings up, causing a huge gust of wind to roll forth. And the Shrine Maiden's hair was all messed up. Oh no, she looked angry, better run quick. It sounds like... It sounds like Sai is a part of this story somehow. I'm just kidding, let me know. Ah, an adventure truly was fun, but with a growl. Klee's stomach started calling out. Oh no, how could they have forgotten? Eating is an important part of adventuring too. Nom nom nom! And so everyone ate the onigiri they brought along. And they had a great time. Dodoko and Paima finished their share very quickly, and as for the very, very full Dodoko look, Klee's smile, he couldn't help but think, meeting Klee and the others is, all, uh, is the most happiest thing that ever happened to Dodoko. <laughs> That's cool. Oh yes, if you're reading this, you too are surely a part of this big adventure. Adventuring together, laughing together, enjoying food together. If you experience this together with everyone, then you must be their good friend. In which case, you're invited to your and Mia's fireworks show as well. While everyone was happily watching the fireworks, you and Mia said, As long as our imaginations don't run dry, our minds will be freer than the others. 
and Cleb blurted out, We'll always be best friends. See, Dodoko was so happy to be together with its good friends, and now you are Dodoko's good friends too, so you too should go on a grand adventure with your friends. Huh. You know what's funny about that, Paimon? You speak for the Traveler in everything. But the moment that a story is embedded about you, I only heard your name probably once or twice. It felt like Mr. Honorary Knight was all over that. Of course we included Paimon. This is the story of everyone's big happy adventure with Dodo Ko. This story Paimon was mentioned only a few times. Mr. Lady Yai wanted me to inform you that since this book was printed together with another work, there are many more copies than you may have anticipated. We won't charge you a printing fee, but in exchange, the extra copies of your book will be included as a free gift with purchases of the other book. Is that okay with you? That's kind of oh, interesting, are you sure? right? It's fine by us, but what does the author of the book think? Yeah. Actually, the book that yours was printed with is called the Tevat Travel Guide. Bruh! <laughs> Are you serious? Of all the things, I had to hear that fucking book again. I remember the adventure we went through to get that book in Monster. I know Liwa has one, but is this Inazuma's version of the Tevat Travel Guide? Klee's mother is a writer? Huh. Klee's mother, Alice, is a renowned adventurer in Tevat, and the Inazuma edition of her popular Tevat travel guide series is set to be released imminently. Lady Yae has already decided on how to promote it. A joint endeavor by Tevat's biggest and best mother-daughter adventure duo. It's sure to be a huge hit. How convenient. Oh, Paimon knew it. Mika would never do anything for free. <laughs> A typical move by Lady Yai. It works out well for everybody, doesn't it? Somehow. Yeah, I'm super happy because my book gets to be released together with Mommy's book. It's like me and Mommy going on an adventure together. Oh, I'm so glad I came. The Iridori Festival is the best! That was cute. I actually enjoyed that. A little bit more than I thought, but I guess that's it for that. Huh. Well, now what is this little thing going on here? The last thing we can do before I gotta prepare to wrap up the day. back and forth in this area for some time now, I believe, or someone who appreciates the elegance of the arts. As a question of the elegance I might need to help with, would you mind lending me your aid? Oh, great. The bar from Monset over here, we have already become fast friends. Tell most speak the truth, we only know each other for a few days. Okay. But, can we get straight to the point now? For the theme of this poem, I wish to write is nostalgia. Upon seeing the sights of a distant land, Vagamon cannot help but remember their home. Help me take a few pictures from which I can draw some inspiration. Okay. So this is the event where we have to take pictures of specific things. As for a number of pictures I will need, I think four each showcasing different contents will do. Okay. Upon seeing the sights of a distant land, I cannot help remember their home. It'd be nice to pick something that symbolizes a distant place. Take pictures of Inazuma regional specialties to get key inspiration material. Okay, I got the understanding of that. Try to do the picture like that. So this is the the quirkiest. I'm not gonna be. I, I can't help but be rude. I don't like it. 
but I have to do four different regional specialties. Well, that's pretty simply specified. I'm going to have to go to different areas for certain things. I was wondering if I could take a picture of the Sakura, but is there even anywhere I can find a Sakura? I don't know if there's anyone in retail with that. So I might have to go somewhere else. Uh, I don't think I can buy anything from her. I just want to check. Never mind. Oh, oh. I'm gonna buy these real quick. Anyways, the comment you put. There's no such thing as free lunch. It's always something up if someone gives things for free, but it's not always the case, though. Ah, that's what you said. Nah, goodbye. Grab the heat there. Why is so many little Raiden statue thingies? It's like even larger versions of it. It's kind of weird. The big part of the event isn't here yet. Or I should say, he's supposed to be over here. Now that I think about it, I wonder if that's who those other people are supposed to be involved with. But I think they were just the other people from Asa that we saw earlier. Either way... It's pretty cool it's, to have an event like this. It's like going to a convention for certain things. Ah, <sighs> gotta go find regional specialties. Let's first go over here, Kai. I wonder if I can take a picture of the Sakura. Okay, that's the first thing I want to do. After I'm done with all this, we can farm some artifacts. Like, I think four more times would be nice. And then that's it. Karma. Take a break from Genshin till Saturday so that we can stream on it, and that would be convenient. Cause I think these are monster specialties. I don't know if they'll let us take pictures of this, or should I try it anyways? Towards that. While well, I'm over here, I'm gonna grab this. Gather. Give me this. Give me this. Thank you. It's gotta be a sucker nearby. Okay. So can I take a picture of this? Appropriate target found. So it does work. Okay. Alright. The other ones are going to be annoying because there's like one over here I can find too. But should I, let's go to Nazuchi Beach. This one's easier. Because the next one. Which I think Kujasar the only person that took this resource for some reason. If I'm not mistaken. So we can check that real quick. Oh, would you look at that? That's the resource I'm looking for. Next one could be Nakuweed, but I don't think the Nakuweed in this area. We can go over to Serai Island for that one. I guess anywhere over here is fine. And there's also another regional specialty we can find. We can find the Awakami fruit. I don't remember if it was called that. It was our something. <laughs> a fruit that's also on Sarah Island can count as a specialty, obviously. That's why I say that. Alright, but first, Nakaweed. Shouldn't take too long to find one. Or we find the fruit first. Never mind. Or we. Wait, did we find. No, it's just a fruit. Alright. What's it called again? Uh, yeah, true. I'm a Kumo. Okay, and it was it's something with an A, alright? <laughs> something with an A. Been way too long. Only Raiden Shoguns took this resource.
Hmm. Hmm. It shouldn't take me this long to find knockweed. Knockweed is somewhere here. I usually find a lot of it here. There's one. There we go. Well, I'm going there. Let's check. PlayStation have a thing going. I got to clip out a bunch of things. But I haven't eaten yet today. So, I want to hurry up and finish everything off and prepare to clock out for the day. If I haven't said it in a former stream or not, an anime that I finally started watching and I had finished the first season of just got its second season recently. Rising of the Shield Hero. I actually didn't think that anime would be so amusing. I actually really enjoyed it watching season one and now season two just came out yesterday i'm looking forward to uh checking that out but i'm probably gonna give it some time before binge watching so today i might actually watch it man tonight okay, i haven't done that in a while it's been a week or so i got some new ones properly on the horizon Thanks to this year's spring. It looks like anime this spring is actually going to be decent this time around. Oh. Create a poem. Okay, the day I took my leave. My leave of loving. I found I loved all things again when tired at last of seeking and striving. I heard again freedom's refrain. The radiant flowers of bride do bloom. Their scent is novel, lovely stain, strain. That actually kind of fits more, but let me see. Then suddenly I saw just an unseen breeze that helped push me from home shores. Heard again, freedom's refrain of distant lands. Joys my heart was dissuaded, not but the slim grass song remained. So they... I feel like this fits better. I just feel like this fits better. This one fits better. I feel like. These two match the preceding lines the closest. They are rhythmically fitting when read. I see you truly have a good eye. Tomo, since both of you are a new friend here, are both very enamored of these two lines, then let's use them. <coughs> God damn, my throat. So we won't be able to do the next part till I guess Saturday. But let's go to Inazuma City real quick. Okay, I'm gonna do some artifact runs again. Cause I haven't really did artifact runs that much this week. Literally the day that I had uploaded that uh what was it? 30 damage feather that I got. I did that the same day. I woke up like around the day of reset. But then me staying up because I've been trying to sleep a bit more. Because trying to, trying to be healthy and whatnot. At least trying to. I got pretty good ratio on Mona. I decided to use two piece hydro, which actually does work on her. Because before I couldn't tell in the past. Because it seemed like my build, I guess, stayed the same with energy recharge. Rather than that, I wonder what the problem was back then. But I have a really cracked, cracked flower. And now a feather. My, my, my mono is really strong. With just an energy recharge weapon on. And every time I look back on it, I'm just appalled by how strong she is. It's like I could do a DPS build with her now. Like at its peak, it's pretty cool. 
I still wonder if I should do two piece burst though, but two piece attack feels better. Why not everyone else enjoying the event today? I can't believe I did so much today. I kind of didn't want to do this much, but it is what it is. So since I'm not going to be streaming Genshin until Saturday, I'm just going to get as much grind in as I can within today. We've already done 10 runs. Let's just do 14 more to end it off. Four more. Ah. Uh, Oh, they're gonna be a second part in eight hours. I mean, I can like wait till Saturday. I'm not gonna let that bother me. I'll just let that sit there. Huh. I still don't have a character that takes this resource, sadly. I do want you and Mia, but again, rumors suggest she might appear next following patch. And if she does, it's gonna screw me over because I'm hearing rumors of Ito next patch and then. If Kazuo is not next patch, it's the patch after that, which is going to screw me over. But, I don't think that's the case. Because, let's see. How many summons I have? Even though I'm still wasting these, I have 9 there of intertwined fate. Plus 77. 86! I think I can guarantee a character and it wouldn't really hurt me, like, at all. At all. Because of how much this patch is going to give us Primo Jones thanks to this event. Even though I am not happy for Theater Mechanicus, I think it's going to come out during the next part of Saturday. That's going to be interesting. But, I need to buy another Welkin. So I'm probably going to buy two Welkin Moons. Next week, or maybe I should do it today. I don't know yet. Either way, let's switch our teams and do five more domain runs because I just I'm in a good mood today. I'm happy that this event came out. I just wish it was during the second half. I still stand by that. Some people will probably complain, but I'm mean, not doing anything until the second half. But at least for me, it seems like every patch, it has a good first half, and then it falls flat during the second half where there's just no content to be had. It's just a fill-in, filling the gap, just silently waiting for next patch to come out. And that, to me, sucks. That, to me, sucks so much. Because it shouldn't be like that. I have 41 acquaint fate summons and I still don't know if I should use them or not. I don't think it would hurt, but if I were to get a 5 star early, you never know. So I'm probably going to wait. I'm going to try to w wait this the out. Shogun approaches. That's going to bother me. Hold on a second. Can I go out here and fight something? It could be something up here, right? There might be nothing, right? Yeah, Ruin Guard, you over there. Hold up. Let me let me just tackle you real quick. God damn it. Okay. I guess they're gonna do me like this then. There is another area I can check, but I don't even feel like running all the way up there. At that point, I'd rather just teleport because that's much faster. And go beat up freaking man over here. While I'm at it, since I'm so far deep in how long I've streamed today, I'm gonna go grab my mushrooms as well. I should have waited before doing that. Hmm. Clear skies can do nothing <sighs> to hide the brilliance of lightning. Divine bolts can strike even in the absence of rain. Let's... How many artifacts do I have right now? I'm gonna hit a thousand again. Doesn't really matter. Yeah.
Okay, what? The amount of notifications I got on YouTube, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Wait, what is this? Oh. Wait, I think I know what that is. I sure hope so. Uh, well, anyways. Yeah. Do you see that tree? Wait. You understand? Oh no, oh no. Okay, so we're good, we're good, we're good. Demonstration is not required. Good. <laughs> good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's like probably the only thing a writer shogun can say that actually annoys me after some time passes because I don't understand. <laughs> Why must he say so much about the damn tree? It's shocking with lightning. Just want to have everyone's all. I would say this the grind later, but I'm gonna do it now because I don't know how long I'm gonna be on Kenshin for. Because tomorrow I'm gonna have a long stream, probably as long as this one. Because since there's no way to avoid brute forcing a damn story in the game, I'm gonna have to do that. Just so I have something to do until I hit a certain point. That thing slowed down. Sadly enough, I already started doing some stuff on there, so there's already a time skip to be said. Because uh, I'm not going to sit there and read everything in that game. For Bleach Brave Souls, if you haven't watched that, homie. But yeah. Heard rumor there's really going to be another season of Bleach. That's cool. So I'll probably rewatch the anime. To an extent that, of course, I never really watched it appropriately. I only watched, like, maybe the first, like, saga or two of it. And I kept jumping around because I never appropriately watched it. I never had a computer to watch no it stuff like that. I only watched Ring DVDs of the series that was shown. So, of course, I was exposed to the filler as well. Shall perish. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Body and Are you kidding me? Oh my god. No, oh, whatever. <sighs> Why can't you be attack, bro? Why can you not be attack? It literally will never give me a chance to raise those. I have yet to get a crit, crit damage attack sins from this domain. I know this is my first time back into actually grinding it to an extent, so I shouldn't expect any change for a little bit. But damn, it sometimes irks me. Why is everyone's all on hiatus? <laughs> Why is everyone's all on hiatus? What what is this? Illusion shattered. Can I have to delay my rotation because Everybody of this? Stand back. Let me leave you a first. You're toast. Torn to oblivion. Don't know why everyone's ult was just not there. But it's whatever. I mean, I'll try it, but I don't really care about it unless it gives me crit damage. It's the only way I'll care about it. The circlet that is sins. If it doesn't give me crit damage, I'm not going to raise it. Shine down! I'm actually a bit triggered because he pushed me away from the the Bennett circle, but I know that I can just grab the move. 
just freaking look like that bit. So it doesn't really matter. Please. Okay, I'll try it. Anything, anything for a good attack hands, please. This is just in case if I want to replace the cryo damage bonus sands I have. There is no escape. Let me leave you a front. Down. You're Torn to oblivion. <laughs> Alrighty then. Is it? Never thought I'd farm this many artifacts in a given day. This is like the most I've ever done, actually. This is like reset vibes for this particular day. But it's not like I farmed this the other day as much either, but I guess I was lately going upon it because I'm trying not to waste my uh, primogens as much, so refreshing like this every now and then is nice. Every now and then. Oh. Like I said once before, I know this is probably like over a thousand. Yeah. Kind of hard to avoid the over one thousand. <laughs> over nine thousand. Let me stop. Okay, I'm praying a lot on this piece. For the love of God, I want a chance at one of these men. It's not like I'm looking for a perfect sand, but that's kind of what I need if I want to even try it, but it is what it is. One of these days, I hope on it. Even though I don't care about this, let's get this out of the way as well. I don't think there's any new feathers. There new capital size. I don't think so. I think it was just circling. Yeah, I think it was just circling. I guess if I actually hit max one of these times, and I'm forced to get rid of five star artifacts, that will suck. But I'll be wanting to do that on stream if it gets to that point. Let's go!
People would kill for this luck here, because my luck with circles has been pretty damn good lately. I am so happy about that. Holy shit. Another crit rate to crit damage circlet. Let's fucking go. Okay, perfect. That's fine. Energy recharge. Not bad. Not bad at all, dude. Holy shit. Now that, that's a juicy circlet if I ever seen one. That is a juicy circlet. <sighs> Question is, who could actually possibly need to use that, though? Don't know who. But it's just another good circlet to have. Beautiful. 20% all I could ever ask for. So, I need to take that off of Sucrose. So I have 911 artifacts left, that's hilarious. I think I just go I'm just gonna go with one of these artifacts that I have locked. So I don't interfere with anything else maybe. But this plus twenty artifacts done zone so I can Trash this into the next potentially good artifact. And if I want to. If this wasn't Blizzard's chair. I wonder who I would give this to. If I was able to make an off piece, maybe I could find it for somebody who needs it as an off piece. I decided to hook up Fisher with some artifacts because I raised her 260 and I'm going to continue to raise her probably. Yeah, no, nah, I'll do it next week. I want to focus on artifacts this week because I focused on that last week. I'm just gonna focus on it further next week, but I guess I'll start building her finally. I don't see a reason why I shouldn't, since I haven't done much on my other account. I created another universe. Give me fun going through the whole story a second time, but try to build a Kaya to an extent. Still, kind of want to see if I can do a freeze team with him, which I probably could. I just I know what free team I would have to try, and I want to know if it's strong in the abyss if I do it. But the problem I need now is I need Kazuha, just a, just a little sprinkle on that. But that's it for today's stream. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I am. Uh, I'm tired, but I'm hungry. So I'm going to relax myself, probably play a little bit of Brave Elite, Brave Souls, and then have a time skip tomorrow for a little marathon I have going. I think I'm going to do a long stream tomorrow. Hmm. I'll go as long as the stamina of the game lets me go. But that depends, because I'm planning on going pretty far. I already went pretty far in this story off stream. 
it didn't really matter, but at least I figured out how to do it myself without having the case of, I don't know, a level 200 and a level 4 mission when shutting a bus, right? Anyways, that's enough talk. It doesn't matter. We are getting closer and closer to halfway to Event Rank 59. We are in Event Rank 58. I still can't believe that. So far, I'm going at the staple that I expect to get there by the end of summer, beginning of fall. I think it's going to be beginning of fall, though, but it might be end of summer. Depends on what they have planned for us during that time. Depends on when Denzel comes out, because if Denzel comes out, I'll say this will happen sooner. But yeah. Well, I'll just check on everybody. Hoping that my friend here can get to entering 45 quickly enough. Since I've already bought the battle pass and whatnot. Where am I at again? 21. So I'll hit, at the very least, 23, 20, yeah, 23 at the very least this week. Then I think we'll hit battle pass 30 next week. I'm certain of it. By then, I'll have an R4 Serpent Spine. So I didn't think I'd be spending this much on the game, but this is as far as I'm going to support it. So after I get R5 Serpent Spine, that's the last time I buy the Battle Pass for reals after that. But, yeah. I'll be taking my leave now. And I gotta charge the control as well. Yeah. I'll see you later.